Yes, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's great to be here. I think um, I, I don't know if everyone in my chat knows who you are, but they they probably sure, would recognize yeah. your name because you're a you're a VIP. And uh, yeah, I've um, if I wanted, I could go into your chat and redeem you know many many hellos and uh, emote only chats right now. That's that's the extent to which I've been a. I am Rosen Lurker. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just have to hold so, those channel points. <laughs> yeah. Um, although I guess now you can just put put it all on black and get zillions of points with the new prediction system. So um, that's also true. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure um, probably some mods will be running predictions during uh, during this match. So it should be fun. Yeah, but uh, yeah, there's a lot, all your chat always has lots of good questions about the Scrabble world, which obviously is not not as high visibility as as the chess world um so i'm definitely happy to answer all those questions you know some some people are already saying like what's a good rating in scrabble mm -hmm. and it's you know the ratings i think the system used is roughly the same except in scrabble obviously the better player has less likelihood of winning every single time the way the best player does in chess i guess there's some element but, of luck uh, yeah, so it's it's difficult to run your rate your rating up too far beyond something like twenty two hundred if you're a a mere mortal. But uh, so people yeah. were asking what your Scrabble rating is because I know it's a slightly sure. different scale, even though it uses kind of a similar formula. Yeah, the annoying thing also, although I guess it's maybe not that foreign to um, uh, the you know the chess community that is accustomed to there being different ratings for different time controls. So mm -hmm. we do, we do maintain different ratings for, um, different lexicons. Unfortunately, it would be great if like chess, there's just one set of pieces, but in Scrabble, there are different lexicons. So, uh, my rating in, uh, North America is 2120 something. And right now that happens to be good for the top spot in North mm. America. So that's, um, Historically, there have been much higher ratings than mine, but it just so happens that I have the highest right now. And I have a pretty high rating in the international lexicon as well. But um, do you have a world rank? Is there like a world ranking list or? Sure. Yeah. So um, I would I think right now in the world ranking, I am something like in the low 20s. But mm -hmm. um, if if I if I may be so bold, I think I'm a little bit underrated. Uh, I started out with a very low rating in the world rating system, just from a bad in entrance tournament, and it's taken a long time for me to build my rating up. So I think I might be I might be right on the cusp of like top ten or fifteen in terms of world skill. There's a lot of good players out there. Um, so gotcha. who knows? I, it's it'll be a while yet, I think, before we can all get back out there and travel overseas to so play I, either chess or Scrabble. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't quite call you a Magnus Carlson of Scrabble. No, I mean, you, yeah, I've heard you every every so often call me the Hikaru Nakamura of Scrabble, which is and a I bit more accurate. Actually, it's close. The only way it's accurate is that right now in our little fledgling world of um, Scrabble. Uh, I probably am the highest visibility Scrabble streamer the way right. that Hikaru is for chess, but mm -hmm. it's like, you know, other than that, there's no comparison. First of all, his channel has 700,000, you know, or whatever more followers and mine is just <laughs> reaching where I might have a thousand soon. So it, it really is uh, apples to oranges, but I'm very flattered whenever I hear that name used to describe me, of course. Um, uh huh. Yeah, and I think the Scrab like the state of Scrabble on Twitch is comparable to the state of chess on Twitch in maybe like 20, 20, 13, 2014, where there is kind well, of a close knit community. Yeah, we, we've we've discussed we've dis exactly we we've sort of discussed whether or not um, we're at the beginning of a of a a graph that kind of looks like chess is over the last three years, or whether we're just I mean. My personal belief is that we have so much room to grow just mm -hmm. to meet the level of interest that there is worldwide in Scrabble. There's just really no comparison to the visibility that Scrabble has as a game and um, just the, the activity that we have on Twitch is just so far behind that. So I really do think we have a ton of room to grow, but 
chess obviously um, is just a much higher visibility game. It's more global. There's no language barriers. So we're, we're never going to become as popular as chess, I don't think, but we have a, a much higher ceiling to reach. And it's just, uh, you know, I hope we're sort of laying the groundwork for that um, with streaming. And obviously the platform, the Scrabble platform that we're going to be playing on is a huge part of uh, my optimism for the future where, um, you know, Lee Chess is just an amazing, I'm, I'm just now starting to dive into Lee Chess myself and we're trying to build basically the Lee Chess of Scrabble, which we'll be playing today on Woogles. Mm -hmm. um, so we have, we have a lot to build basically in our community, but. Yeah, um, well, I, I hope people uh, like chess lover, lovers or Scrabble lovers will uh, will enjoy this match. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll well, going I think that between games, the chess lovers should love it because I'm I am almost a total blank slate when it comes to opening theory or end games or any of mm -hmm. that stuff. But in particular, opening theory, I think it's very likely that your chat will get a huge kick out of watching you do whatever gambits or tricks that you like to do. I'm just a total blank slate. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm excited I'm to get back, dunked so. on. Yeah, I'm excited to get dunked on in a very entertaining way in chess. <laughs> oh, cool. And, and we should note, um, I, I pulled it up, uh, I guess, before we hopped on call, but um, as we progress through the chess games, Assuming I keep winning, I'll keep giving you, I guess, larger odds to try and level the playing field. Sure. Yeah. Um, it's and just for those, I'm mm -hmm. I'm sure there are people wondering, like, why are you not getting bigger odds in Scrabble? And just as as I often say in the chat when when I'm watching you play Scrabble, you're very very good. <laughs> like you have an extremely strong natural ability for Scrabble. Really, the only weakness is. The, that Word preparation knowledge. level mm -hmm. that goes into, um, you know, just learning the dictionary, which is kind of a downer if you're coming from a chess world where you have the pieces on the board and you just learn how they move. And after that, it's just a matter of recognizing patterns and stuff. Whereas in Scrabble, sometimes it feels like there's so many strange words in the dictionary. It's almost like playing chess without even knowing what all your pieces are. So it can be mm -hmm. kind of frustrating in that way, but um Definitely, Eric is closer to my skill level in Scrabble than I am to him in chess. So that hopefully explains the odds thing. <laughs> yeah, the, the hope is that at least I, maybe I can have a few like close games. And we'll oh yeah, if, I fully expect it. Yeah, yeah we'll see if either of us can, I guess, nick off a point uh, in uh, the the discipline that we're a bit less powerful in. Exactly. So. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I'm happy to to jump into it. I um, sure. I modified the study just a little bit because I know when we originally talked, we were going to do 10 games. And then yeah, that, it that occurred to me that that's so going to be a five or six hour stream, which, you know, not that I'm averse to that, but I think there's a limit to how much we can, we can do. So yeah, I would say maybe we'll start with a, um, an expectation of five and see how we'll long plan for takes. five. Yeah. And I've, um, I modified the, uh, the Lee chess study. Okay. So um, I, I think we'll, we'll still start with like an even game just so I can, I can hopefully use some, some opening tricks and then, uh, and then we can progress into the odds games. And of course, I we'll just need to last, I need to last longer than XQC did against moist critical. If I can just that's last, a good goal. Yeah. if I can just last maybe four or five moves longer than that, that's a success that's for me. So it's not a super high bar. Yeah. I just have to survive. Uh, <laughs> well, that's why I moves. said it so low. <laughs> right. <laughs> So yeah, and then, I'm happy to happy to start. Okay, sure. and then just between games, uh, I guess we can just briefly like uh, hop back on call, analyze, and then uh, and yeah. Then um, so I, I'm literally just going to mute you while we're playing and sort of hide the Zoom window. Does that? Yeah, I can mute myself reasonable? in the Zoom call too. Um, oh, okay. So, uh, and then I would sure. I would ask that you mute yourself in the Zoom call as well. Yeah, yeah, of sense. course. Okay. Yep. I will. So should we, so will you just send just a regular even strength chess game to start or is that? Um, yes. Now okay. just to clarify the time control, um, are we going to do eight, eight minutes with five second increment for both chess and Scrabble? Sure. That's okay. fine. Yeah. I think just that's reasonable. Consistent. Mm -hmm. And okay, and your username is Wander. It's just yeah, 15, same, same old okay. Wander fifteen. Yep. Awesome. 
So I sent you a challenge. Okay, and- then yeah. off we go. I, I see my chats popping off, so I'll mute myself and acknowledge them and start shortly. Okay, so, I'll do the same. Alrighty, yep. Okay. So I hope this makes sense. I'm looking forward to this. No mercy. I can turn back on sound alerts. Thanks to everyone who's been subbing and so supportive. Um, yeah, I saw M. Singer, Hibben75, Pernai GP. Brogan, welcome back. Oh, he's, oh, he was dabbing. I still see him. I guess uh, I missed the dab there. But I highly recommend people watch uh, both streams. Um, hopefully he knows how to accept my challenge too. Uh, here we go. Okay. Um, oh, he's ah, he's playing D4. Do I, do I go for the gambit? I can't resist. I'm playing the England gambit. It's my one chance. In the other positions, I won't be able to. Hey, I'm so Eric. You are the absolute best. Oh, thanks. We're gonna see though, because uh, I don't know if I'm the best in Scrabble. Congrats on the 100k. Oh, thanks so much. We're still at like 99 something something. Uh... Second trimester. Can't wait to meet you, Pepito. Oh, something about pita bread or no? Oh, Papito. Oh, second trimester. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for resubbing, Arnold Party. So E3, the England Gambit declined. Um, I can't have my fun. I wanted to play that uh, the the dirty trappy line. Against E3, I think it it makes sense to develop. Um, like we could trade. We could actually transpose into like a exchange French. Actually, here we're going to have a reverse French. I'll play e4, hitting the knight. This is still like completely fine for white. The strategy is usually knight here, and then c4, knight c3. Uh, but so far, he's playing... He's playing better than Mr. Beast against Hikaru. It's an interesting move. Yeah, knight d2 is just a, such a common um, response, but this is a lot more ambitious. Um, it's the type of move I'd like to try and punish, but and I could take and the pawn is a bit weak. I think I'll just develop. Like so far, he hasn't made any blunders. Um... And I'm out of any sort of opening theory. I'm expecting we might trade and then and I'll try and build up some attack. But it's gonna take like some some work to crack White's position. Ooh. Okay, so <laughs> he's playing he's playing well so far. I don't want to get forked or checked, so let's play this move. Hitting the bishop. It's actually a high level move, bishop c4. Because when I play d5, now he can play bishop uh, b5, pinning my knight. Uh, but then I'll play this. And the hope is actually that later on, like once I develop, and assuming he castles at some point, um, is that maybe I'll get a Greek gift. But we'll see. Because this is a very typical structure where like, sacking on h2 could be a, a real possibility. Okay, so I'm making a threat here. I have two attackers against a knight. There's one defender. Ooh. So he doesn't directly defend the knight. But he creates a situation where if I take the knight, or take and win a pawn... He wins this pawn. I was not expecting him to actually be 
be at such a level. Like he's playing some interesting chess. I'm gonna play bishop e6. I, I don't feel in danger, but um Okay, I'm just trying to be solid. Have all my minor pieces nicely developed. And now that I'm defending the pawn, I'm still threatening to win a pawn. Also, thanks, uh, Perolito. Oh, I missed your sub. Oh, well, thanks for subbing and thanks for donating. Yeah, it's it's very easy for me to miss subs, especially like during a collaboration stream. But I do appreciate so many people who are subbing and resubbing. Oh, and Greek. Is there a Greek gift coming? Didn't I call it just a few few moments ago? Greek gift time. It's so easy to walk into. Um, I'm sure, like he, it's very clear he knows general principles of, um, of just opening, like develop, control the center, castle. Unfortunately, castling was. Um, well, I was walking into danger there just because of my setup. So the point of this, I'm losing a bishop, but after knight g4, if the king retreats, I play queen h4. And um, it's very easy for white to get mated within the next like five to ten moves. Now, the more more interesting line is actually king takes knight g4, king g3. And then, and then I have to decide between queen g5 or h5 or queen g6. All those moves look, look pretty nice. And the problem for white, there's only two options. Um, after either option, I, I play knight g4, so I can pre-move this. Wasting no time. Yeah, so king g3, I think I would go for h5. There's a thing with queen g5 or queen g6, there's f4. But after king g3, um, h5, h4 is pretty much impossible to stop. And the king can't really run or hide. Okay, king g1 is a more natural move. Um... I didn't actually calculate this fully, but this is such a cl classic Greek gift position. So the threat is made in one. And the natural way for white to try and not get made is rook e1, but after queen f2, king h1, queen h4, king g1, queen h2, king f1, queen h1, king e2, uh, queen g2 is mate. A pawn is very clutch, controlling d3. So life is very good. Um, I guess the, the only way not to get mated, like, by force is queen digs g4. Yeah, f3. Um, I think he, he wants to create the getaway square, but this is still mate. Like, controls the square. Okay. So he, he survived twice as long as xqc from that, uh, the moist critical game. Um, but I, I really showed no mercy. Had to get off to a momentous start. So I wonder if I can bring this into the WeChat study. I'll unmute myself on the Zoom call now. And see. I just unmuted myself too. Okay, yeah. So that was obviously a big fail. I could feel the I could feel the noose tightening, but just the very simple oh, how amazing. not I seeing that the knight was covering gift. both of At those squares is like my escape route. I'm sure I had a way of so last, I was thinking about sacrificing my queen there, actually. Ah, uh, yeah. I, was, I've, uh, I mentioned on stream that the only way not to get checkmated by force is to sacrifice your queen for the knight. Okay, I literally almost did that, but then thought I had a clever way to get the king out and didn't see that the knight was covering both squares. Right. So. Yeah. At, at that point, it was already pretty much losing for you. But <laughs> yeah. The, the, the thing yeah. was, like, you you played the first. I was really impressed with the first. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, I guess, but that's those are the easiest ones to to nail. As soon as it starts to you know get a little more complicated, mm -hmm. 
you have to have that muscle memory of just seeing lots of positions that I haven't, I haven't yet gone through the, the actual decision-making process of yeah, wondering and, I, oh. and failing all the different ways that you have to do until it starts to internalize. So, yeah, you, you walked into, um, a, a pretty well-known tactical pattern when I, uh, when you castled and I took your pawn, um, and I can't blame you for walking into this, but that was really the only mistake that you made was castling on move nine. Got um, it. Yeah. It's hard it is to sort of it. like axiomatic that it's mm -hmm. something that you should always try to do or, but just like in Scrabble, every rule has exceptions that are meant to be broken at various times. So that's true. Yeah. So sometimes like instead of castling in that situation you want to like move your your h pawn uh move to like h3 and then, then you prevent the the danger um but it was actually like it was a relatively high level game you you played a lot better than i was expecting you, <laughs> well thank you your one blunder was not an obvious blunder at all at all and a lot of players would have played the same thing so yeah it would have been nice if i had trusted my gut and actually done the queen sacrifice like i felt i mm. had to there until i made a, a much stupider move because i i feel like i was 99 percent of the way to realizing that was my only way out even uh -huh. though it's not good for me to lose my queen at least i can keep playing um yeah so yeah it close, allow close, you to no survive cigar. a bit longer but uh yeah you still yeah. survive I, I was saying you still survived uh twice as long as XQC. So <laughs> well, that's okay. I've cleared, I've cleared my low bar. Mm -hmm. Um, so ultimately it would, would have been nice to last a little bit longer, but I certainly was expecting to not come away with a win in that first game. Oh, I can just put yeah, had to show screen. no mercy. Of course. Yeah. And of course I'm going to, I'll do my best in Scrabble, but I, I do feel like you could, you are just one decent draw away from skimming some games off me there. So but, fingers uh, crossed. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. But uh, yeah. Do you want to hop over to, to Google? Sure. Wubles? Yeah. I think I'm, I think I have the window ready. Just like, let me see if it's all set. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So no surprise that I'm, I'm now down one to zero in the chess. Um, I've sort of been neglecting my chat too. Hey, everybody, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's popping off. So I appreciate everybody there. Um, that's, that, yeah, so, that's nice. I'm, uh, I'm trying to promote this multi Twitch link so people can watch. Uh, yeah, I have a command for it. Uh, I have a command for it too. I'll nice. just, I'm, I think I've seen people using it, but you can, I actually wrote a funny, I wrote, if you're on my stream, you can see a funny message when I bring up the, the multi, oh, nice. um, it says, I recommend muting me and listening to Eric's soothing voice uh, instead. Oh, that's flattering. <laughs> hard, hard to argue with that. So, um, okay, yeah, I'm here on Woggles. I think it looks okay. totally, totally ready. Um, oh, my heat just came on. I'll, I'll be right back, um, but feel free to send the challenge. Oh, okay, very good. I will do that. So I will match Eric in North American English. Eight minutes five second increment void and i'm going to be hiding my chat uh while yeah I'm me playing, too just so me too for sure there's no um, distractions or words that's being suggested oh it was uh, i have an impressions command and i'm pretty sure i was told to impersonate you which oh. I, I do my best to impersonate everyone <laughs> that not not well but we'll see i, I won't be I'll offended myself yeah it's probably better than uh, Daniel Naroditsky's, which I think is is not the not his greatest impression. He's he's really funny with his impressions, but I, I don't think his Eric Rosen is very good. There, no, there's some room for improvement, yeah. Yeah. So, all right, I'll send this. Uh, oh, I have to write your name, and other than that, I think we'll be ready to play. Okay. So, all right, we'll mute each other again. Good luck. All right. Good luck to you. Okay, I think we're good. It's my move. Oh, it's my move. Oh, time is ticking. Yeah, it's not like Lee Chess where you have unlimited time to make your first move. Um, so I, I hit chat. I'm making sure the layout's okay. It looks decent. Um, I have a Z, a Zig, or Zoo. I want to use a Z, probably Zig. Uh. <laughs> It's so weird going from chess to Scrabble. Uh, almost have Gizmo, but not quite. Zigger. Z. If 
find Aster is a cool, like, Polish-looking word, but okay. Let's play Zig. Get rid of the Z. Ooh, I have I-N-G. Okay. So yeah, people in chat are free to, like, suggest whatever you want, because I'm not, uh, I'm not looking. I don't want any unfair help. Um, so this is my Zig opening. And we're playing eight plus five, so there's no there's no overtime, but there is a five second increment. So basically, the same time control as chess. Uh, flagging will will lose the game. Um, Gringo. Gringo wouldn't make sense to play. I probably the probably the strategy is to keep the ing. Oh, he plays Iliad, so he has maybe, yeah, he had a couple eyes there, uh, maybe vowel heavy. Um, I almost have grueling. Oh, but that's not how you spell grueling. I almost have drooling. If the R was a D, I would have drooling. Um, okay. What to do? I could play ring. Ring score as well. Like he opened up a a really dangerous spot, which I should probably block because this is a triple word. Man, I'm nervous. I think I'll play ring. I give away the ing, but what else do I do? Oh, orgo is orgo. I don't even know if Orgo is a word, but ring score is better. Gets rid of the double R and maybe leaves him in a more difficult position. Okay. I like my letters apart from these two O's. Almost have aroused. And the goal is to keep leaving myself with like good letters and then hopefully bingo at some point. Um, for those who are maybe less familiar with Scrabble, if you use all your tiles, you get a 50 point bonus. Uh, so it's one way to try and catch the, the lead. I'm ahead by, by 30. I'm not seeing any, always want to be aware of the potential eight letter words. Adores. Rude. Looking for compound words. Always have to look for like the the suffixes and prefixes too. It's already like a a kind of a closed position. This is one overlap between chess and Scrabble. Plays Geyer. Okay. Yeah, he definitely he knows a lot more words than me, um, but we are playing a challenge a variation where where there's no challenges, so I could guess words if needed, just to see if they're valid. Okay, but what to do? Mm, I want to play down with a G. I could also play off like. I'm ahead by 10, and it's my turn. It feels like a very positional game. Um, the road. I'm just trying to think of plays that leave me with good letters. Rodeo. I do have Rodeo on my rack. I don't know if Geyer's probably not good. Uh, what else to do? Yard. Yord? Is Yord valid? I know Yord is valid. No, Yord is not valid. Oh, what about Gooder? Like, more good. Gooder? No. 
Uh, just realizing there's a spot like that, but maybe a road? And this it's a good leave. Gets rid of a couple of vowels. It doesn't score much though. What about ro rog? I don't want to take too much time. I'm going to play Road. Okay. Um, again, I'm kind of vowel heavy, but... Ah, he hits me with... With a big word. Niellos. Wow. Okay, so I have suffixes. Uh, man, there should be something here. Story. Goiter. Uh, in... I want to play through the end, but I'm not seeing any... Oh, Western. Wait a minute. Orients? Ori. But that leaves me with an E. Uh. Oh, yeah. I gotta move quicker. I'm gonna play. I think I'll play Goiter. Goiter, there's two spellings. I think RE is probably better. Okay. So I'm down by 31. Yeah, this is why, like, um, when you have, like, an S and a bunch of one-point tiles, uh, you usually want to go for bingos. Yeah, that was worth 75 points. I was thinking if this S was an I, I would have ape-like. Or P-like. <laughs> uh, also, this is our first, uh, first Scrabble game we've ever played. Yeah, I really have to watch my time. It's so easy to get like stuck on a move and then drain all the time. I'm sure I missed something with that uh, that rack to check after the game. Oh, I can take notes. I forgot I have a notepad. So I have a sleep, please. Oh, wow. So he, he was a vowel heavy again. But it's scary because he might be looking to bingo again. I've, uh, I want to play something here, like maybe K. It closes things down quite a bit. Let's play K. Okay, I have one vowel. But I potentially have vowels if there's an open O. Um, yeah, my rack turned from like pretty good to uh, not so great. But I'm only down by 16 and the board is closing down. I think one strategy I probably want to stick to if I can is try and close down the board as much as possible to prevent him from finding these like crazy bingos. Ah! Reasoner. Wow, okay, so that was the first blank. There's one blank left in the bag. Uh, <laughs> I'm all, okay, I'm down by 90. That's better than being down by 100. I have vest. Vest is kind of a nice overlap play. 
Um, that scores decently. I mean, I don't see anything that scores as well as... Well, there's also West. I probably want to keep a W. There's better synergy. We'll play Vest. Okay. So I'm down by 55. It's his turn. Oh, Pilaf. Is that how you spell Pilaf? It's like Middle Eastern food, I think. The P and the F have some of the worst synergy. Um, like it's not a great combination. Also, W, like there's so few words that include P, F, W. I'm trying to think of a word that includes these three letters. Oh, powerful. But that would require lots of other letters. Hmm. I mean, I'm still in the game. Like 55, that's one bingo away from an epic comeback. Well, the board is really closing down. Like if a bingo were to be played, I guess you would need an... Okay, there's one last S to play here. Maybe the word starting with an A. But this whole quadrant of the board, like there's really, there's no seven letter, or maybe the, through the N, it's the only seven letter spot. Okay, he's getting low on time too. So I feel slightly accomplished I'm making him think. Play stunt. Okay, I really want to play peel off. I should have been thinking what to do. If um, if, uh, if, uh, I can play fa. A fa scores decently. I want to get rid of an eye though. Oh, maybe lip. Or law. Law scores well. Wait, what about fa? Oh, fa's not valid. Mm. I'm so indecisive. 24, 25, or 22. I think I want to also have a spot. No, let's play lip. Okay. Hey, I got the the last blank. I also created a spot, maybe like a word starting with um, S or T. Ah, he uses X. X is a good scoring tile. Okay, I have some cleanup to do. Also, my time. Oh, dear. <laughs> I don't want to flag. Uh, maybe A ah or Awa. Ah Play Awa. Ah Okay, so I have 40 seconds left. I'm down by 66. But my, my rack is looking better. Hmm. I have a word, methify. I doubt that's valid, though. Hmm. Also set up a, a spot like this. Maybe with? The spot's probably going to be blocked. Let me use my notepad. So width would be a play. Uh, what else? Maybe fa. That could be nice because it gets rid of the F and the H and leaves me with more tile or more um, bingo prone tiles. So fa. Oh, maybe I could go for the dirty flag. 
It's turning it's turning into a bullet game now. Also the Q is still in the bag and there's not so many like Q spots. So there are two U's left. Plays Kavas. I'm gonna play Fab. Ah, I got the Q. The Q is like the worst tile in the alphabet. Plays Domic. Play Chi. Uh, I mean, can I sell up the Q? I mean, these are good letters. Something ending with IC. Uh, OM. Okay, there's a few. Maybe OMA. Something boo. Uh, Nubetic? Something ending with IC. There's six tiles in the bag. I'm down by 90. I need a miracle to like come back. Wait, bunties? Bunties, unbites, sunbite. Um... <laughs> oh, there's one tile left. Um, how to do this? I think. Okay, let's play this. Da. Do I have anything? A do's and the problem is he. Yeah, he knows what I had. Okay, I have juice. I'll play juicer just for Hikaru. <laughs> juicer. That was bad to just give away the blank like that. Uh. Okay. Ah. Like game. Ah, I failed to break three hundred. Oh, one forty-two. Okay, so I'll unmute. Good game. Um, yeah, I, I was. Uh, it was just one of those where I got the first two bingos down and sort of uh, just cruised from there mostly. Um, yeah. There's a good, um, a good Hikaru word there of uh, juicer at the very originally end. Originally, I was going to play juice, but I, I specifically had to mention Hikaru. For, for <laughs> of that course. One. Yeah, of course. Um, so, yeah, let's see. Um, should we just take a quick review yeah, of this? Like, just I, quickly go through? I'm just I mean, curious if I missed anything. I, I had pretty good tiles after I played Road. Okay, let's see then. And um, instead of Goiter um yeah I'm i was sure. lucky to catch you with not nothing really high scoring after iliad um uh -huh. you could easily have had something much heavier than ring so i considered that to be a major you know bullet dodged for me there um, oh sure yeah so oh okay this is a classic word of uh so you of um on that turn of road there is a very strange spelling. There's no way you could know this of the word rodeo, like the thing where the, you know, the bulls get, you know, the matadors. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. You can spell rodeo with an A. Um, ah. And that's funny because 14 Domino also missed that in a game. And he had a, he had a legendary annotation where every mistake that he made in that game and then subsequently in his t entire Scrabble career he now says none of this would have happened without rodeos. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, these alternate spellings. Um, yeah, there's again, to... there's just no way you really could have known that without having yeah. studied. It studied. sounds. It seems like one of these high probability seven letter words, though. Like you would get to it quickly. Hmm. Yeah, you would get if to I it. I studied more. <laughs> if you just took, yeah, if you if you weren't a, <laughs> a successful chess content creator, <laughs> to spend more time and had, studying and had my time sevens. for that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, request to turn Eric up. Yes, I will turn Eric's audio up. Mm -hmm. You guys can let me know. I think it should be better now. Um, so yeah, then I had my bingo and oh yeah, Serotine. Serotine. You already, you, you cut to that. Sure. Right. Yeah. That's another one that not a everyday word, but for us that, you know, work our way through the dictionary probability wise, we, we would see that word quick in study and that's mm -hmm. again 
all, all it would take for you is just like 15 minutes a day to learn stuff like this to just be a, yeah just especially these like these player. seven to eight letter words with all one point tiles i think i think would be the the place i would get the most value from in, in terms of studying yeah, just fixing the uh, now. Now I got a, a comment that you were too loud. I think I've uh, hit the I've hit the sweet spot now. Thanks I'll for bearing find the with sweet me. Spot. Um, so yeah, then I was pretty close to a bingo myself on my mm. next turn, and I drew a blank. So that from there, it's going to be tough. Oh yeah, the reasoner uh, kind of yeah killed yeah, my yeah. I had my hopes. I had e, e n o r s already, which is mm. very bingo prone. So the blank was just overkill. I was going to bingo without the blank a pretty high percentage of the time there. So drawing it was just putting me over the top. Um, the stunt turn was really uh, that threw me for a loop. I, I did mm. have the X there, so I was setting up a spot for it to go down for a little bit more. Just thinking that given the score of the game you were very unlikely to play in that spot needing to sort of create more That's true. opportunity for yourself. So I didn't anticipate you playing in this spot. And in fact, you made what looks like a really good play to open more uh, area of the board. Um, I was trying to create bingo lanes. Yeah, but, that's uh, exactly what that accomplishes. So that was a, a good play given mm -hmm. the situation but that did let me then hit my X. I didn't um, even realize you were set. You could potentially be setting up an X. Um, yeah, I just assumed I had you had nothing, bad titles. But, yeah, I had um, nothing much better to do. And uh, like I said, I, I thought the chances of it staying open were really high. Mm -hmm. So um, I did hit it. Did I miss anything better? No. Um, so yeah, anyway, that was just uh, pr pretty much I outdrew you that time. So hopefully... Um, yeah also yeah missing a few bingos to hurt my, <laughs> that does uh, my chances, that but. does yeah there is there is that also so um yeah always a question that we that both your chat and now my chat as well is always asking like what percentage of scrabble is luck mm -hmm. um and i do i do like to say just as a as an axiom maybe maybe um 50% of games that you play between exactly equivalent opponents are determined by just who plays better in that game. And then 25% in each direction can't be lost, right? You just draw so well. So the best, the best player in the world playing people of roughly similar skill level will probably win roughly 75% of the time. And that does match up with the best Scrabble player. This guy, Nigel Richards has like a 74.9% win rate or something. So, and he, he's more maybe appropriately the Magnus Carlson of, uh, of Scrabble. Yes, absolutely. He <laughs> uh -huh. is the Magnus Carlson, not mm. me. If, if I'm anything, it's a Caro, but even that is a stretch. So, <laughs> nice. um, Okay, we can hop back over to Lee Chess now if you'd like, and okay. um, and I'll I'll take my what probably next <laughs> next beating, but we'll see how if I can get if I can last longer. Um, I might take a quick like two minute break. Oh Is yeah, go okay? for it. Yeah, no oh, rush. Okay, Give so I'll be right back. Say hi to chat. Okay, cool. Be right back, everybody. Sounds good. Okay, I'm just preparing the next chess game oh let me change my layout okay <laughs> so we we both got a beating in our, our first i guess i uh i delivered a chess beating and then received a scrabble beating um but the next game will be will be queen odds and after that will be no pawns so should um it'll get a bit more difficult um, but definitely some lessons to take away from uh, from the Scrabble game. Always nice to like whenever you play a Scrabble game. There's always new new words to learn. Every loss will hopefully make me stronger. Expand my vocabulary. So welcome everyone. I know there's uh, a bit less chat interaction, but I encourage people to watch on multi Twitch. You can watch both streams at once. Uh, links should be in both of our chats. And okay, I'm just about to send the next challenge. Okay, I'll pop back over to Lee Chess. Um, let me see if I can adjust your crop a little better. Okay, I see it. Um, 
there. That's annoying me less than to, <laughs> to get the square of you in roughly the right spot. Okay, that's not perfect, but it'll do. Okay, so what is um, what are what is the change to the normal? So the next here? game, I'll be giving queen knots. So wow. same set of position, <laughs> but no queen. Oh man! Um, All right. I'm still I'm still gonna show no mercy. Um, That's but... a lot, though. I mean, yeah, of course you sh you should. That's a huge. That, I, I know that's it's a definitely handicap, more. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely more than the original three to five per per. Yeah, I I changed discussed. it a little bit so. just to accelerate the odds, but okay. the, the game after this will be no pawns. So we'll, we'll get some <laughs> oh, wow. interesting Very situation. different. Yeah. Um, okay. okay. All right. Uh, I'll mute and accept, and away we go. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Good luck. Okay. So Queen Odds, I do have lots of experience playing. Um, actually, probably last time I, I did like a Queen Odds match was against Tagi. And that was blindfold Queen Odds. So I'm pretty confident I'll, I'll be okay, but who knows? Like he, he played the first game really well. And his, this rating is probably not reflective of his overall strength, and he's still very much provisional. Um, okay, so usually when I when I'm queenless, I like to play a hippo. Hippo is a nice kind of just ultra solid opening where I can do my own thing, not worry about obscure words or moves. Also, I'll turn back on alerts. Thanks, T Kong. Gifting a sub to Maji14. Appreciate that. And yeah, thanks everyone who's been tuning in and joining and subbing. Um, during the chess streams, I will be looking more at the chat. Uh, I'll still try and like offer some instructive commentary. Um, and like playing Queen Odds, actually, it, it kind of teaches you how to fight back from not so great positions. And there's certain strategies you apply when you're down material. I mean, one is to avoid trades and just keep as much tension as possible, um, which is one of the goals with this hippo setup, not making any huge commitments. Uh, and the goal is to fiend counter the other bishop, and the bishops will, will kind of sit safely while fighting for all the center squares. Hey, T Kong, finally got to 1700. Well, congratulations. Keep it up. And thanks for the bits. Really appreciate that. And thank you, Tilapia something something, subbing at tier one. So I think a common mistake for a lot of newer players is they'll overthink sometimes what to do in the opening. Um, like he might be deciding like, okay, how to complete development. Um, but honestly, like any of these bishop moves, they're all pretty much, uh, I don't want to say the same, but they're very similar in just a strategy, like develop the bishop castle. Um, and... It can take a lot of experience to get to the point where you can kind of comfortably and confidently develop without overthinking things. But B4, oh wow, a deep strategic idea. I don't think that scares me though. I'm gonna keep developing myself. It's nice to have like a, just a go-to setup. Yeah, B4, it's, um, it controls space. Uh, sometimes when you play b4, the idea is to play b5, uh, after which I would respond with a5. So I, I don't go for any trades. I keep the position closed. Um, and if he castles this way, what I might actually do is delay castling myself, just bring the knights in, and then go for like h6, g5, f5, and go for a, kind of an early pawn storm with the bishop piercing through the position. 
when am I playing? Oh, the I'm not a GM. That will be later this month, towards the end of the month. Once I know an exact date and time, I'll, I'll add it to my schedule. But yeah, the, the process of scheduling that has been a little bit slow. Oh, let me change, I'm trying to remember to change the category uh, between chess and Scrabble every time we switch. Mm, Bishop e4. So he, it seems like he understands what he kind of wants to do is, is trade. That's not a bad move. Uh, if I play this, I lose a pawn. If I play this, I weaken kind of um, this diagonal. Can't draw arrows, but this pawn on c7 would be a target. Um, yeah, that's a very reasonable move. What do I do here? I don't want to trade bishops. I think I should play I should play d5 and just kick the bishop back. Um, but d5 does make some concession. Like, even though it controls space, it uh it blocks my own bishop. And I'm gonna have to figure out how to defend this pawn. And he's actually he's employing like a London setup. I didn't even I guess no. Yeah, he's just playing a London. I wonder where he learned that from. Yeah, London's not a bad setup. Just in general. Oh, I have a cool idea. I'm going to play ninety seven. This idea just came to mind. And I can say, oh no, my pawn. Ah, I'm losing a pawn. But in reality, rook c8 and then I win a piece. So the pawn is basically defended by the tactical idea of skewering. And I basically, I have a hippo with, uh, with a pawn here instead of here. So it's like a mutant hippo. Wow, he took the pawn. Let's go. Wait. Yeah, like normally when the bishop and knight are like this, uh, the knight can help defend the bishop or the bishop can try and defend the knight, but the pawns are in the way. And um, I guess that's that's one of the drawbacks of b4 from earlier. If the pawn were still here, it would defend the knight. But when you have pieces that are undefended, especially aligned, then this can lead to some juicy tactics. Yeah, I don't know, do we call this a pin or a skewer? In some sense, the bishop is pinned to the knight. But when there's pieces of equal value, I think it's usually considered a skewer. Or a juicer. Not Link. Thanks for subbing. For two months. A skinner. <laughs> a pin skewer. A spewer. But definitely not not a pork. A pork would be a pin plus a fork. And not fully a wooden shield. <laughs> oh, a lobster pincher. Yeah. So in situations like this, when like clearly he's he's realizing the danger, uh usually you, you should just kind of accept the fact you're gonna lose a piece and try and make the most of it. Um, probably what he should do is bishop here, and then if takes, he can at least trade, and and he's still up a queen. Um, actually, the material situation will be queen and pawn for a minor piece. And if he takes here, maybe it's queen and two pawns. Oh, if he takes here, I very can informative have a streams. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Laloscopy. Appreciate that. Yeah, I hope people are learning some things between the chess and the Scrabble. Okay, now I can move back. 
Actually, the, the one nice thing about losing that pawn is he still has all eight pawns, which means he doesn't have any open files for the rooks. But this is considered kind of a, a nice half open file. Um, yeah, so now he wants to trade. And I don't want to trade. So if I play this, he has b5. Considering this move, actually, it's kind of interesting. A knight has so few squares. Yeah, I'm going to play this. I'm allowing the trade, but my reasoning is if he takes, I'll strengthen the center and I open up another file for the rook. And there's some potential, like much later in the distant future. I could potentially go for rook g8 or yeah rook g8 and then use the bishop also to target the diagonal. But that's a solid move. Um I think I'll play this. I want to prepare g5. At situation also I don't want to castle. Um because, yeah, it was very likely the file would open. There were cases where I would go for a pawn storm as well. Okay, so I'm avoiding trades. He's playing this well, actually. Um, <laughs> surviving longer than the previous game. I was really trying to avoid all trades at all costs. But, um, okay. Still have enough pieces to cause some havoc. So this is a very nice square. Unfortunately, this is not considered an outpost because he has f3 at some point. Uh, but not right now. Oh, okay, let's go for this move. This is kind of hope chess. It's not a bad square for the knight, supported by the rook. Now I'm threatening the the comeback, the comeback fork. Mm. So he probably saw the threat. Um, I don't want to repeat, unless I do. But no, I don't. How to do this? Maybe h. Play this move. I want to go for the, the opening of the h file. Another thing I can I haven't mentioned this yet yet, but time, is uh is definitely on my side. I'll offer some compensation for the the material that I'm down. Okay, so the plan is to um move the rook here, pin the g pawn, and then win this pawn. Mm. Well, he's giving me this pawn, but I don't think I want to take it. Let me continue with the plan. So the threat is probably bishop takes h4. Um, yeah. And the benefit with winning this pawn is the bishop will then move back, and then I can go for h4. And then just trying to open up more files to the king. It's interesting, like, he has kind of a solid setup, like, pretty much everything's defended, but um, it's not so easy for white to, I guess, formulate a clear plan. And meanwhile, my plan is h4, bond cloud, and then connect the rooks and mate. Um, yeah, let's close things down. <laughs> and he's getting to the point he's going to need to make every move within five seconds. Um, so I'll keep the pressure.
Mm, so the queen defends through x-ray vision. So I think now is a good time to bong cloud. Yeah, I was not castling this game. Connecting the rooks. Um, king's really safe behind this pawn formation. Um, ooh, f4. F4 would normally be nice to support the knight, but um, now this pawn is going to fall. It's a question, do I take with rook or pawn? Probably pawn. And now the knight is ready to come back. Unleashing the other rook. thing is, I don't know if I want to take the pawn, because then rook c1 and my king... I don't want the file to open. So it's a question how to... how to make progress. Maybe just this move. At some point, maybe the rooks can coordinate on the, the second rank. Oh, okay, that was a nice gift. That was probably a panic move. He wanted to defend the bishop, but... Um, okay, so now I've, I've won back a lot of material. So I have three minor pieces for the queen and the pawn. This is still pretty much like equal material. But I'm going to have a mating net. Am I threatening? Threatening force mate? Rook h1. Threatening to win the queen. Mm, okay. Makes life a bit easier. Okay. Again, he didn't make any, like, so big mistakes. Maybe just... And until at the end, like, time trouble, of course this uh okay unmuting myself for eric hold on let me see okay i yeah i can hear you you can hear me i hope yep yeah i just take so long to process every position that i i could feel the last three or four moves mm -hmm. there were all blunders i'm just trying so it just takes so much energy for me not to blunder e even in a relatively simple position that it's it's hard right yeah the um i mean you, you played you played really solidly like you, you employed a really nice strategy of just trying to hold on to everything and then go for trades uh yeah you uh, move you know, there's a few like just nice too moves slow opening, but time management is like it's a huge <laughs> yeah i guess yeah. factor that sometimes uh i think like early in the opening like even within the first five to ten moves you were taking a lot of time yeah, I, it's that's something that more practice and a little mm -hmm. preparation, lear, learning a few openings more solidly will will be huge. Um, and I do want to do that just to be able to um, get to the meat of the game. It feels sure. like when, so like I said earlier, I, I'm very addicted to puzzle mode, and it feels like all mm -hmm. like puzzle mode consists entirely of like mid to end game positions, like the the fun positions, I guess. So the faster that I can get through the opening to get to that stuff, the better, the more rewarding. Right. And chess like sometimes in the opening, me. especially when I don't have a queen, I can't really harm you so much. So there's a lot of moves yeah. that you can play at that are very yeah. low risk. Yeah, I know. I was, I know. And I was just, I was so cognizant of that. Mm -hmm. you, you somehow managed to render my queen mostly, you know, useless there. There were just no, there was no way for it to, uh, enter the battle and start doing good things i i probably should have done more to get it out in space sooner yeah it was a more closed uh, position like not not easy to find a plan but yeah. um but yeah it was a, uh, it was still a good fight yeah just uh, just down the stretch i just have no i have no way i'm just moving pieces kind of at random so um, sometimes that, that happens to me when i play scrabble and, and get like below a minute i'm just like panic mode just play whatever word that i see first oh that happens to me in scrabble too so that makes two of us nice. so <laughs> yeah well anyway so, okay i can switch back to uh to sure, Google's. Yeah. yeah that sounds and, good and um and we can just rematch the uh the previous game here i think oh, in fact 
Um, so yeah, I have you here too. Oh, your standings can go behind. I just want to see if I have this right. Okay, yeah, I got your match request, so we'll mute and off to the races for game two. Okay. Sounds All right, good. very good. Let's do it. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. So, <laughs> I, I lost the first Scrabble game. Oh, he plays Lentoid. Wow, what an opening. He played that in three seconds. What a move. Oh, he's getting revenge on my... on that previous chess game. Uh... Ouch. Okay, well, what do I do? Vidit. Shout out to Vidit, who's a super grandmaster. Vidit god. Vidit dog. I photoshopped um, Vidit onto a... No, it's a cat, not a dog. Um, it's on Twitter. Ah, okay, what to play? Uh, again, I have to watch my time management. I have void. Void. It's actually the format that we're playing. It means no challenges. It leaves me with no vowels, but gets rid of the V and scores. I don't see too many high scoring plays. Divot? Is Divot a word? Okay. Divot was a better leave. Okay, so waiting. Why um I have the ING. I'm gonna take notes, which um I probably didn't do enough of last game. The ING could be nice. Oh, this spot. So J O is a word. I, I, if he has a J, I probably get smashed in the triple letter. Okay, pulp. Okay. Only down by 78 after, what was that, like two turns from him. Uh, I have weight. Kind of like weight. And pow. And uta. Or wadi is also... Wadi scores a bit more. I think Wadi's valid. Yeah, okay. Okay, so staying in the game. Down by 51. Da ah, trashily. That was a classy play. Uh, okay. Now I'm only down by 125. It seems like I'm close to something like air, air goat, air goat, goat, something. Um, I want to keep it close. I want to score more than 300 on like the previous game. Uh, but what do I do? Oh, there's T-I-O-N. Rugation? There's no way this is a word. Aggravation. Would need more letters. Uh, oh, I could play goat like this. Keeping... Oh, no. GA is not valid. Hmm. Oh, I still have the ING. But nothing... I wonder if I should, like, fish? Maybe just Tau... Um, it's a good leave and keeps ing open. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, still too many vowels. <laughs> I'm down by over a hundred, and he's already bingo bingoed twice. Both links are still in the bag. Okay. Okay, so this is a spot for an F. I could play Fear. Also, thanks for subbing. Blah, Blah78. Appreciate that. 
I do have the chat closed, but I do see sub alerts. Something God, fair God. Oh, this is also a spot, like just, um, I don't know, for a tiny play. Okay, what else do I have? I have Oaf, Forgo. Thanks for subbing. Cracked 1300 hey. for the first hey, time. Nice Thanks for the help, Eric. Very nice job. I just realized we're playing raided. And he's, he's, we're both provisionally rated. I'm somehow higher rated because maybe I, I played like one game in the past and got lucky. <laughs> he's going to farm me for rating, but that's okay. Cubit. I know this word. That's a nice word. Um, do I play fear? I'm trying to break a hundred. Unfortunately, fear kind of closes down the board. I'm really curious, like, what I've done wrong so far. Because I feel like I've been doing decently with the letters I'm drawing. Oh, I have afro. Like, I really want to open the board here. Maybe afro like this. Just hoping that he, ha he doesn't have anything too dangerous. I have to do it because I'm down by so much. He might crush me though. Hey, I got a blink. Okay. So at the very least I have um I assume I have something with ING. Ooh. Ooh. Shalting. I wonder if I have something through the O. I get a triple triple. Halting. Wait. Let's clear my thing. So halting. So basically, halting plus a blank. Um, so what could that be? Shalting. But I really want to extend to a triple. I also have I I G H T. So like all right, I have all right actually, all right. Lathing. Uh, he plays woof. Okay, I'm going to bingo here somehow, hopefully. I mean, I have halting like this for 75. It cuts the lead. I'm looking, I'm still looking for like IGHT. Alighten? I gotta try Alighten. No. Without the A, that would be valid. Um, I mean, halting scores decently. I also have to preserve time. Hey, okay. I'm not giving up. I'm only down by 80. I got good letters again. Kerning. Churning. Wait, okay. Let's take notes. Churning. I would need open letters. I don't know if kerning is good. Un. Un. Uncringe. Thanks for saying that. Rose and da. Da. I'm trying to launch a comeback. Non non Eric. Nun Eric. Not quite a nun. Numeric. Not quite. What are my so something ending in IC? I feel like ING is like the best. Where are the lanes? So through the N. If I can't find a bingo, I have some smaller plays. Do I have anything with a Q? Qua, probably not. Uh. 
Oh, he opened a G, but the the thing is in the way, so I don't have um. Kern, curing. No. Oh, incur in. In. In current. It sounds like almost a word, but not quite. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm missing something here. I think through the T. Uh, rune. Uh, I have the word runic. There's really not so many spots. Brr. Brr. Two minutes left. I could play, I could try signing myself up, but that's, there's a lot of risk involved in, with that. Oh, something ending with up. Hmm. I think I'll play Rin, because then maybe I can use the R later, score something. Okay. On the combination of Y and U is not so great. So I have like Curie, almost have Mercury. Ah, renounce. Renounce with 63. Oh, I have almost currency. Cur. Oh, I don't have currency. Because the open R or C doesn't quite work. Currently? No, that's too many letters. Mm. Man, this is tough. Uh... Okay. Uh... Play. I'm about to enter panic mode. I could play Yen. Just trying to set up another like triple thing. Man, there has to be something here. These are good letters. Um. Out. Thinking through the R. Da ah, inbox. <laughs> okay, let's play. I can play come for twenty four. Forty six seconds. Cursum. I have S O M E as a suffix. Re. Reach. Hmm. Think about using the blank as a cue, but not sure. Squeezer. Like squee, something squee, er, squealer, but most of these words are spelled with an A. How about ending with U R E? Or starting with E U? Euchre? Hmm. There's a word euresis, but not quite. And I've I've felt so close to bingoing the last several turns. 
Hey, thanks for subbing. Litsku. Something the snail. Litsku. Re reuse. Re. Re oh. super su oh super something. He just, okay, he was vowel heavy. I can play C. There's two S's left. I'll play C. Okay, I have creature. What else do I have? Uh, I have feature. Oh, feature would fit. Okay, let's do feature. Uh, for 69 points. Nice. Hey, I broke 300. Let's go. I'm still down by over 100, but that's okay. I got I got two bingos this game, but he got so many more bingos. Uh, play kins? Or what else to play? We'll play kins. Can I go out? I can go out with kine. Okay. Almost flagged there, man. Okay. I'll have Eric. Your again. opening was so strong. <laughs> yeah, my opening. That's the uh, that's the lentoid trashily opening. That's very well known in uh, Scrabble circles. Nah, I'm just kidding. There is no <laughs> there's no what, nomenclature. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm curious, what percentage of the time do you open with a bingo? Do you like, is there an exact yeah, percent? Um, so I think the I think the number just based on somebody that has absolutely perfect word knowledge mm -hmm. is. Um, I think it's like 14, between mm. 10 and 14% of the time you have a bingo on your first move. And then if you're going second in the game, your bingo percentage is actually higher because There's you not only, yeah, you can play through letters in addition to, you might have a seven. Um, so, oh, my chat is saying about one in seven or one in eight. I think that okay. squares with what I had said. So, um, yeah, um, again, it's, I got the first two bingos down before you really had a chance to get rolling, though we haven't we haven't really looked at it. Um, yeah, my tiles like were not, I don't think, anywhere close to bingoing for the first several turns. I was just trying to play off some. Uh, oh yeah, some not junk. even close here. Uh, Divot looks correct for sure. Um, yeah, I played. Oh right, pupil over pull. But yeah, I mean these the racks that you had are horrible. Um, and meanwhile, I had that trashily rack would have played through the E with hysteria too. So I have just, oh, wow. just choosing between uh, pretty. Oh, okay. So you did have something on the next turn after that. Oh, after trashily. Yeah. After, tra after oh, your agitator. Yeah. I was looking so for the ING, but yeah, didn't spend that's, enough time. yeah, that G that N I should say is just sitting out there looking mm. so nice. Um, but yeah, that T although, um, it's possible that that would have gotten you hit pretty hard. Just, uh, oh, maybe not. There's so, a couple places to play agitator. That's true. Yeah. Um, the, the place that scores slightly more points puts two letters open in triple lanes in kind of scary ways. So, um, there's no, there's no way to play mm -hmm. agitator that doesn't get hit pretty hard yeah. in response. I mean, I, maybe one thought would be I, I play the, the agitator that scores more, more points. Cause if you take one spot and then I can hopefully get the other. Exactly. That's a very, very common situation. You're getting seven more points for it. And, um, as long as you, as you said, as long as you draw kind of anything flexible, even if I get something good, so mm -hmm. will you. So it does, it often does work out better that way. Um, so let's see. I had a couple of moves where I felt like I might have missed something, but of course it was when the game was mostly already decided here. Yeah, um, I mean, oh, when I, I missed halting, a good play. I was hopeful, yeah. but... I missed a I missed a better play on Gimmel. Not a hugely better play, but definitely I just didn't see the word LMI, E, -E L E M I. Oh, oh wow! It plays alongside there. Um, yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, and you had unicorn. Not ah, playable. I missed unicorn. No, oh. no, you didn't. No, not no. playable. Sorry, didn't okay. mean to. Didn't mean to scare you. you didn't miss I anything. actually, I, I saw like a few possible, like I saw ing possibilities, but um, sure. Yeah, unicorn didn't even come to mind. Ooh, I missed a. I wow. So when I played inbox, 
I had NS on my leave, so I could have played in boxes and renounces oh, for 75. Wow. So a couple, couple wow. inaccuracies. I got to be more careful. Got to be more careful. Um, oh, and I guess you also had century had and century. renouncer. Uh, I, I, I was looking yeah. for currency and there were like, yeah, currency, almost an sure. open C or open R, but nothing quite worked if, there. But... If you qubit was a word, you would have triple tripled. With oh, currency. that would have been nice. Yeah. <laughs> um so yeah at that point it was pretty pretty well decided so um at some point you will get the first bingo down and i will have to work harder there, there <laughs> is a point I'm, I'm fully expecting that there is one really cool word that i missed that uses uh, the letters in my name instead of playing in this game in this game instead of um after inbox i could have played this word tautomeric it's like a <laughs> 10 letter word Bingo. okay so that's uh that is outside the ability of basically everybody except uh -huh. that guy i mentioned earlier nigel, nigel richards, richards. Uh -huh. a couple other you know somebody like um a uh, u.s player named dave weekend is well known for being able to find stuff like this but really only two or three people would see a play like that ever so, yeah i imagine most players uh, don't study like their 10 letter no, words so no. so thoroughly <laughs> no Although Aerolith on stream is helping that that little mm. game that we play, oh, sure. where we can anagram along with uh, a bunch of crazy Scrabble players. So for sure. All right, should All we right. head back to head back to chess? Let's, Let's see. Let's do it. Okay. So now this game is going to be no pawns. No pawns. <laughs> so I I actually don't know if it'll be more difficult than oh man no at queen, some point but... <laughs> at some point I have to I have to not get checkmated in one of these. Okay, so that's it's now two. It's we all, we each have won every game in which we're the favorite so far. That's true. So it's yeah. that's as as expected, somewhat. Um, so okay, right. so I'm sending no you pawns. a challenge. Okay, <laughs> let's see how I do here. <laughs> okay, I'll mute you and I'll be off to the races for this game. Okay. Okay. A few things to do. Okay, I don't know if I've ever done these sort of odds before. So this should be interesting. I have so many half open files. Uh, wow. So he's playing e4. I'll play bishop c5. He's not threatening queen h5 because my rook controls h5. Is kind of nice. Okay. And this could be, if he falls for an early trick, this could be a lot easier. Like if I get some trick against f2. But if he plays solidly for the first few moves, this could be a lot more painful. We'll see. Um, <laughs> should be interesting. I'm trying to like adjust, like there's so many more open lines. I guess the benefit for me, I can develop more rapidly. Because usually you have to move your pawns to make way for your pieces. But I'm a bit less restricted than usual. Like the rooks can come in. So there's moves I would never like even um, I usually consider. That should be on my radar. <laughs> Do I go for this? Just threatening Maiden 1. Um, I, I can also go for sneaky attacks against this pawn. Even this move too. I think I'll develop. I'll play this move. I'm setting up a small trap where if he plays bishop g5, it looks nice to pin and try and trade. But then I play queen here, threatening the pawn and threatening this to like potentially win the rook. This weirdly reminds me of a Stafford.
I want to do the oh no my queen trap. Like takes. How funny would that be? Takes here. 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 But bishop here does not make because he has knight f3. Um, so the question is, do I, do I go for my original plan? I think I should. The other idea is to play knight c6. Trying to set up the oh no my queen and then Legal's mate. Which would be hilarious. But there's too many moves which just stop that. So I think queen d4 is the, the way to go. I'm just getting out of the pin. Really just attacking this pawn. And this is a main threat, right? And it's kind of the hope. Like sometimes when, when the opponent plays a move, you'll see one threat, but not always both threats. Oh, okay. No mercy. Oh, I feel kind of bad, but this is how you learn. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I'll unmute myself. Hey. I feel kind of bad about that one, but... All right, I just totally didn't see that one coming at all. I'm getting yeah, Fs, Fs in my chat mm. for me on that one. Ouch. Oh, you have like the Scrabble tile emote F, right? Uh, somebody has that. It's not There's me. Some, okay. I think uh, <laughs> Physics is Fun has that. I gotcha. Yeah. Okay, that's just something that I'm sure... I will learn to see someday. <laughs> this is like when you're, yeah, when you're like relatively new to chess, um, the the F2 pawn, or just in general, like the F pawn for, for both sides, is like the weakest point in the position. You always want to be aware if the pawn's attacking it twice. Uh... Um, and it was weird. Like, I've, I don't think I've ever done this these sort of odds with no pawns, but yeah, I felt less restricted. I just... He, oh, so my, interesting. My pieces yeah, all your good pieces quicker. are just out. Yeah. Um, so what you had to do is maybe play a bit more carefully, like use your pawns. Yeah. Um, Don't actually maybe way. not develop my other pieces as much and just lead the pawns out into into space to all die a sad death and yeah. take as many of your good pieces with them. <laughs> um, <laughs> my hope was. I just having not done that much preparation, I realized mm -hmm. it too late. I made I made a couple of moves that that were like counter to this goal. But mm -hmm. it, from that opening layout, it seems like the only unprotected pieces on your side are the rooks. Like I can start to at least try to put pressure on them, knowing that they're sort of undefended over there in the corners. Not that they can't just come out, but I was I was thinking maybe that's the soft spot but maybe that's not accurate. Are you familiar with the term uh, fianchetto? I've certainly heard that You've watching heard of lots okay. of chess, yeah, but I, I, I couldn't tell you what it is. So there's uh, it's a very specific opening strategy where, I don't know if we can hop on the same analysis board, but if you imagine... Oh, sure. Had it, uh, if if you actually go that. to the study... Um, oh, okay. Let me see. Do you have a bookmark? Yeah, I do. So that the no pawn. Okay, I'm seeing it from your perspective, I guess. And I'm uh, I'm gonna hop into it as well. So now, but, if, you, uh, if you move stuff around, I I'll see it. That's the hope. Um, yep, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So there it is. You you mentioned the rooks are are potential targets. So what you could do here is employ a fianchetto, which starts with g3. It's not this very like common opening. Oh, move, but, but in this, in idea. this, it has that power. Yeah, of just getting the rook out. Exactly, and it, it does a nice job of keeping your king safe. Like if I if I develop, you attack my rook. Um, you can very quickly castle, and then you have a very nice kind of safe formation oh, yeah. around your king. It's beautiful. And then then it's really hard for me to like win quickly because all, all the key squares are defended like this pawn's defended by the knights um and it would take a lot more work for me to win from a position like this that's it makes total sense yeah, yeah. That and, looks great. and sometimes when you're when you're up so much material in these sort of odd games you want to uh, just play safe in the beginning like try and keep your advantage and then um then later on you'll you'll play more aggressively gotcha yeah, that oh that that looks so nice. Oh, there's so much to learn.
so yeah it's a great thing about doing this like you you make this sort of mistake i um i lost in a very similar fashion my very first tournament game losing in four moves uh same curse of the f pawn so <laughs> <laughs> yeah um and it at if I mean, it's it's fun to think about the similarities be between the two games that we're mm -hmm. playing. Ultimately, there there's a lot of differences, but the one thing that I do think is similar is to to get to a certain level in a game with sufficient complexity, you do have to lose and learn all of these lessons the hard way over and over and over again until it's like seared into your mind <laughs> through pain and misery of losing games like this oh definitely but, but if you can manage to um lose games like this and treat it as a, a learning experience as opposed to a, a sad <laughs> um you know exercise in frustration then sad that, trauma that's yeah. exactly so hopefully i've learned it through scrabble that these sorts of things happening are learning opportunities, even if it is very, very sad and causes my chat to be spammed with Fs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the whole concept of growth mindset. Like if you yeah. if you have the right mindset, you'll improve a lot more quickly than if you have um, what's called a fixed mindset. So, sure. Anyway, we can uh, we can move on. All right, and... back to Scrabble, and at some point you will draw better. So I guess, I'm, yeah, I have we're... to be on guard. Still undefeated at our respective games. That's true. That's true. Um, okay, off to the Wiggles board, um, and I'm back. Okay. Okay, we can. Let's get it rolling. Let's do it. Okay. I will mute you. Okay. Oh, so at what point? I wonder who's going to win first, like if I win at Scrabble or if he'll win at chess, because the odds are going to get more difficult. Anyway, I'm hiding chat. This is game game number three of Scrabble. Oh, I move first. Okay. Let's play uh, Let's play Fatty. Right? Fatty. Fatty looks good. Ah, I have no vowels. I have the Q and the X. What is this? So there's some, like, if there's an open E, I could play bench. Bench. Just to kind of clean things up. Um, there's this by BY, and I don't have any, like, valid words on my rack. And there's some words with no vowels, like NTH is a word. Nth. I'm just hoping he gives me like a, a spot to play. I'm really curious to like go back and, and watch his commentary too. Let's see from his perspective what like how his thought process uh -huh. just differs from mine. Okay, so he oh he creates some spots. I'm actually wondering if Binch if I use the axe. I don't think I I have Nix. Is Chick? I don't think Chix is valid. No. Um. At the very least, I have Bench. I want to try Bench first. No. I think it's actually better for me to. Yeah, get rid of four consonants. Yeah, let's just play that quickly. Okay. So one of the most common words in Scrabble is Q-A-T. I still don't know what it means. Alternate spelling of cat, maybe. But, uh, yeah, I almost certainly want to get rid of the Q as quickly as possible. I'm looking at the board. It's, like, weirdly closed down. Uh, like for him to bingo, I guess like the N and G can be played through words starting with a vowel or like M or Y or ending in Y. Like there's some bingo lanes. But there's not so many uh, scoring spots. I'm also realizing I have QAT right here. Um, the thing is A is my only vowel. I want to try and keep some balance on my rack. 
But at least I can enjoy being up points. It's been so long I've been up material. Oh, another word is uh, Q-A-D-I or Q-A-I-D. A few other of these um, U-less Q words. Unfortunately, this doesn't quite play because N-D is no valid. Oh, another word is... Um, yeah, there's a lot of potential for these U-less Q words. There's a word Q-A-N-A-T. Like if you play enough Scrabble, you'll internalize these words. Cannot. So I'm getting some early time advantage. So unlike, unlike chess, Scrabble is, um, there's like, it's incomplete information, which means there can be more kind of psychology with tells, like if he's taking a long time, maybe he was in a difficult situation. So it looks like he was vowel heavy. Um, okay, so this actually is playable. I mean, the thing is, I'd rather score. Yeah, it's probably better just to score. And there's really not too many options. I think I just play this, move on. Hope to draw some vowels. Hey, I have extends. And it plays, it plays in two spots, extends here and extends here for probably even more points. I don't think he's going to block both. Yeah, that was like probably the best, one of the best draws. I was not expecting to draw bingo. Um, sometimes I've learned in the past when I draw, when I see a bingo, I'll get too excited and then sometimes miss like better opportunities. But um, just checking like X. Extends is almost certainly coming down. And this is nice. I'm ahead by 49. Bingo will put me ahead hopefully by... Ooh, and he's not drawing so well. Um, I mean, he, he did give me an X spot. I'm actually really curious because this leaves me with good bingoing tiles, but I think it's... It's more worth scoring 85. What does the score? 80. Yeah, let's play extends. Now it opens up the board. Anything through the A? Exude or through the U? No, let's play extends. Okay. I feel like this is my game to win. I, I'm very close. Wow. And he's, yeah, he still has, seems like he was very vowel heavy. But where's my, it's so close to another bingo. Redazing, dr, drazzing, drazzing. I have more time. I have time to think. Um. So I-Z-E. I mean, something ending with zing. R dazzling. I mean, even if I could hit the, the double, I'm not seeing it. If he gets good letters, he's very capable of coming back. Uh, z zingered, zing, zinger is not a verb though. I could look for, I mean, I could just play Zen and then I'd have good chances to bingo next turn. 
I really want a bingo here, though. Something I-Z-E. Iser. Energized. Energized almost. Energized takes three E's, though. Um, my time is running. Okay, one more, one more luck. Grazing. It's so close. It's really close. Redazing. Um, uh, I could also play Zing like this. I think I'll play Zen though. And then. Let's play Zen. Drawings? Drawings. Drawings. Let's go. Okay. So I'm throwing a bingo. Hey, thanks for the money. Appreciate that. Swaz, or no, Smart Asthma. Yeah, and thanks to the people subbing too. I do appreciate it. So I'm up by 128. I've been drawing like such good tiles so far the thing is if he blocks uh the a what do i do okay don't have to worry about that oh my gosh i i picked up another i picked up joiners or rejoins yeah i mean it's not gonna be close it's 92 points Is there anywhere else? Again, if he blocks a spot. Also, I don't know what birdie means. I assume you can add an S to it. I mean, these are such good draws so far. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Blah78. The, well, the one thing, if he were to somehow mount a comeback, he might try setting up like a triple triple. So if, if he places like a, a word here, I, I just want to make sure I'm blocking any any crazy scoring spots. But no mercy this game. I just realized what did he do there? He played he played Urari and then he played Aeoli. Oh, that was very nifty. Yeah, I I actually knew that that um this takes an O. That's a nice kind of scrabble word to know. I'm just I'm a twitch baby now, spot. relieved face. Hey, Yoda lives forever. Oh, the qu okay, I, I should play joiners, I think. I mean, if he triple triples, that would be incredible. And the score is 92. Let's go. Wow, and I have, I almost have another bingo. I'm drawing so good. I'm, I'm threatening, um, I'm threatening top lane. Well, he might do actually. If he doesn't have a triple-triple here, he might try and open up another spot on this side, and then I... Man. If I get this down, this is on pace to be my highest scoring game, like, ever. Just so many bingos. If there's an open T, I could also potentially have plotting. Plotting my revenge. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so I want to have the P on the um the double. <sighs> God, it feels so good. Wow. This makes up for like all the the previous games. And this is, um, yeah, I've, I've been super lucky to, 
to draw these sort of tiles. It's incredible. Do I have another bingo? I almost have covered. Cover. Oh, I want to play something through the eye. Is there anything? Oh, he may have played Meow to like set up an S. Meowed. Uh, wait, I have over. No, but over. Okay, I should just not flag. Flagging is the only way to lose a game, basically. I could play Cuddler. I mean, I want to maximize score, though. Maybe Vo? Because the bag is vowel heavy, there's a blank left. I'll play Vo. Okay, I'm going to break 500. Yeah, but based on like the words he's been playing, it seems like he's been drawing a lot of like vowels. Like most of the words have been very vowel heavy. <laughs> the tile gods have been kind. Okay, now my tiles are not. Yeah, I have a single vowel. Oh, emu. Okay, I'll play curd. Curd looks good. In one tile. Oh, I got the blank too. Um, can I get to six hundred? Oh, he, he has the rest of the vowels. I feel kind of bad. Rake. Um, I don't know what the etiquette is. Is it like rude for me to take so much time here, or is it? Maybe it's understandable. I can play fat. It's my second fat word of this um this game. I'm just trying to get to six hundred. Oh, he's about to go out though. Um talked. Wait, no, I can't spell. Uh, K? I don't know. Or Eek. Let's play Eek. Okay. <sighs> okay. Man, that's probably, that's still one of my highest scoring games. All right, we'll see what Eric has to say yeah. now. Uh, Yikes! The, well the done. Guns. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> very, very nicely done. And as I was saying, that's that's just proof of what I've been saying, which is that mm -hmm. if only you get a little bit to work with, you are dangerous enough that I don't I don't think you need odds <laughs> in our in our games. So yeah, I, I was. Well um, I mean, it, it seemed like you were you kept getting like very vowel heavy racks, and like the, the tiles were so nice for me. Um. Yeah, I definitely was struggling, but I'm mm -hmm. I'm certainly not confident. Like I uh, right off the bat, I see I made a little bit of an inaccurate move just to start the game with feeing. Not not a huge mistake, but I could have just played genie I, like the plural uh, of genius under fatty, which is just a tiny little mm -hmm. thing. But it could have can change the whole outcome made, of the game. Possibly. Yeah, it could have made a big difference. Oh, mm -hmm. maybe I should play that. Um, yeah, tricky, tricky move on my second turn. Don't think I got it right there either necessarily. Um, so, but yeah, extends. And then, oh, a nice rack for you there too with the Z or Zen with the blank in hand. So yeah, I was, I was in looking trouble for there. a bingo with um, like ending in Z-I-N-G. Yeah, I think you have one too many consonants probably. And ultimately you made a but... strong move. Actually, there was... You could have kept ing together playing Z, but the problem is uh, that gives up the a hook of Zeta, which could potentially score a ton of points. So you may you may actually work out better playing Zen a lot of the time. Yeah, um, that didn't uh, that didn't come to mind. I just knew that I was in like good shape to bingo the next turn. Yeah. Um, okay. It likes the move I made next, and then of course, yeah, drawings was the best play. Mm -hmm. um, 
I just made kind of a kamikaze type play to force you to maybe have a bad rack, but then joiners pretty much finished me off. So <laughs> yeah, it was, uh... yeah. Um, oh, I had a nice play there of opium mm -hmm. through the P of Phyla, but it's fully academic at that point. And then toppling just to, just to pour salt in the wound. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <It's>, uh... <laughs> Yep. That's how Pretty it goes. It's totally, yeah. With, with a, a player at your skill level, I don't, I don't really consider it to, you know, I'm not like fumingly upset or anything like that. That's totally well, game, well exactly. within the realm of things that you, the risk that you accept when you sit down to play a game of Scrabble. So. For sure. I see my, my chat's going uh, slightly insane. I, I think I just hit a hundred thousand twitch followers oh so yes i knew you were i knew you were close yesterday but uh you i mean you were getting subs like crazy yesterday which yeah, was amazing to see really but incredible. hopefully you're getting lots of love for um hundred thousand that's amazing i think when i first started watching your channel mm -hmm. you were at something like sixty thousand or something like yeah, it's after really many, incredible after mm -hmm. many years of streaming. So this, this must have been a, a banner year for, for you and, and a lot of other chess content creators. That was a nice, but, nice way to celebrate with one of my highest Scrabble games ever too. Yeah. So that was, that's thanks awesome. For being part of this. Oh, my pleasure. And, and, and again, congratulations. Um, that's a, my text to speech is going off. Sorry. Uh, yeah. But, um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's a huge milestone. Um, so huge yeah, congrats. Thank, to you thanks that. so much. Yeah, thank, thanks to you. Thanks to chat. Um, we, we, I guess we can continue with, uh, I'll go back. Sure, to, yeah. To so what's, and... <laughs> what's next on the, all right, I'm learning so many lessons. Hopefully I can internalize some of them and so the you'll, next you'll not one, have enough pieces. <laughs> yeah. Next one will be queen and rook odds. Okay, so back to so the nine of the queen plus one more rook. Is that yes. true? Okay. All right. Um, we'll and see if I, I can send you a challenge. figure out how to do better this time. <laughs> yeah. I'll have pawns, so I won't be able to activate yes. my pieces so quickly. I see. Well, there are other advantages to having pawns. So. <laughs> right. Okay. All okay. right. Back into the reach. I'll mute Eric. Okay. Well, thanks chat. Yeah, that was, uh, I really appreciate everyone. Uh, so much hype. Um, yeah, thanks so much. 100,000. Wow. That was such a, a fortunate game too, man. Oh, he's dabbing. I forgot to turn off his cam. I don't even know how to dab requires some sort of arm movement. But what should I what should I do to celebrate? I could make more tea. I'm almost out of tea. Probably I'll make more tea between like after this game. Oh he's dabbing for me. Oh I feel so flattered to be the recipient of a dab. <laughs> oh dab for a hundred K? Okay. Um wait, how do you do it? Like this? I have to, I have to practice my dabbing. Oh, uh, Alexa, how do you dab? Here's a video from WikiHow. Oh, really? Oh, wow. The skill. Instructional videos can help you with that. Did you want to enable it? Uh, not right now. All right. <laughs> okay. I think I fixed the scene. Let me change the category back to chess. Okay. Oh, new new emotes. Yeah, I did add a new... I could make a dabbing emote maybe if people want. I did unlock a new emote slot yesterday. Oh, he's playing a London again. He's attacking my pawn, which is... It's defended by my ghost queen, but I should probably should probably do this. Yeah, I'm really going to have to work on my dabbing and <laughs> not embarrass myself further. But thanks, people, for, I guess, keeping track of the the follower count. Because I was, yeah, I was in the heat of a Scrabble game. I would not have realized. 
Okay. Oh, he's playing ambitiously. He's applying some of the lessons of like, I guess, moving quicker in the opening too. At least that move came quickly. Okay, I'm going to play quick as well. So without this rook, I'm going to have to be a lot more careful with trading. Super happy for you. Congrats. Oh, thanks so much. Decelerated asteroid. Yeah, I, I really appreciate it. I appreciate everyone who's who's followed. Um, if if it was possible, it would be nice to like figure out who the one hundred thousandth follower was. But sometimes they come so fast. So I appreciate those who followed. I guess for the first time today, but also those who've been following for a while. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure there's a lot of new people here because. I mean, earlier I, I only had like ninety nine thousand eight hundred followers. And people can also just debate amongst themselves who the, the hundred thousandth follower is. Congrats on one hundred k. Oh, thanks so much, Laku Nero. Yeah, I appreciate it. I don't think Twitch does anything special like the same way YouTube does. On YouTube, when you hit 100k, you get one of these, um, it's right behind me, the silver play button. But, uh, yeah, Twitch, it's, I guess, just, just another number, but it's a nice number. Okay, what to do? So I'm, I'm employing the setup that I showed him earlier, this Fiendkato approach. I'm going to play Rook E8, and there is a tactical idea to play e5 attack the bishop and then play e4 and fork the knight and bishop and it's a typical idea when you play uh, king's indian against london it's this e5 break i might want to play h6 first to prevent any bishop g5 move Oh, <laughs> yeah. If if I had a dollar for every every follower, that's one way to, I guess, make a six figure wage. Yeah. What follower? What number of follower is Tagi? I'm not sure. Oh, this is an aggressive move. Hitting the pawn. Also controlling the square, so e5, he can take enough times. I mean, it's still tricky. <laughs> I missed my rook. My rook is usually defending this pawn. I wonder if he wants to go in like further. I should play a6 here. If queen c7, I'll play knight f8. Hey, crump for it. Thanks for subbing with prime. Oh, and thanks, Axe for Typo. Yeah, I can't recall. I've played a lot of online Scrabble, and I don't think I've ever scored 600. So that might be my highest score ever. Like, the letters are so, so good. And that's one of the thrills with Scrabble. Like, you never know, like... Um, if you draw the right tiles, you can you can beat some of the world's best. I'm gonna play h6 first. I might just like kind of create a bomb shelter, like knight here, bishop here, and then put all the pieces, and just kind of act like a porcupine. Ah, he's doing yeah. In a previous game, he was he played the bishop here to try and trade. Uh, yeah, it's a good idea, and he's employing the right strategy of just trying to trade. So let's not trade. <laughs> Keep my king protected. And I'm gonna try and use again, try and use time to to my advantage. Oh, what's the highest Scrabble score ever recorded? I'm not sure actually. 
I'm sure maybe some people in chat would know better. Oh, is that person in chat? Oh, that's funny. The person who's, who scored the highest ever Scrabble game is in chat, maybe. Was it really 850? That's insane. You'd basically need to like bingo every turn or get a few triple triples. Okay, I should I should focus on the chess because this is not not easy. I'm thinking about playing f5. f5. Kick the knight and then e5. This is not really my porcupine strategy, but I guess can porcupines shoot out their spikes? Or is that a myth? Not sure. Whoa, it's Leechus. Thanks, Leechus. Raiding at a good time. If you raided like 20 minutes ago, I was playing on, on uh, the Scrabble site. But I really appreciate the raid. I'm not sure who is streaming for Leechus, but I know Leechus has been doing a lot of... Uh, They've been hosting a lot of streamers on their channel. So if you haven't already, you should check out leechess.org. Not only the website, but also the Twitch channel. They also have a YouTube channel. Ooh, I fork. I could fork. Okay. And if you're just joining, um, I'm down a queen and a rook. I'm doing, um, it's been a fun match so far. I'm playing a match against one of the world's top Scrabble players, and we're, we're alternating between chess and Scrabble. Um, in the chess games, I'm giving progressive odds. So this game started, I'm missing a couple of my, my valuable pieces. But I'm trying to show no mercy, I'm trying to offer some educational value as well. Oh dear, how to dab, sneeze into the right elbow. Wait, what? Like, I can't, I can't, like, sneeze on demand, though. I could fake sneeze. That was a fake sneeze. But that wasn't really a, a dab attempt. Wait, sneeze. <laughs> Sneeze into right elbow. Bring the right hand to the left shoulder. Like this? These seem like like completely unrelated gestures. Wow. Okay, so... Yeah, he's going to lose uh, the knight or the bishop. So I'm going to win the knight. I'm debating, actually... I might want to take with the pawn. Normally, this is like a terrible positional move, but um, the idea is, first I open the file for the rook a little bit, but I also prepare g5, my one of my favorite emotes. Um, and like these pieces, they're, they are blocked by the pawn, but... Um, It'll come to life eventually. There's an idea knight f8 to g6. And there's potential. I mean, this pawn comes to g5, but then this pawn could come. If he sacrifices, then this pawn can come as well. So pawns will take turns being on the g5 square, I guess. I don't think he'll sack, though. It seems like... His style has been more on the solid side. If he had like a sacking style, maybe he would take here, which is kind of interesting, actually. Um, yeah, I'm still trying to play solid. I might actually move the other knight here. Try and bring all the pieces to the king side. 
And one idea is to play knight g6, controlling h4, and then play g4, kick the knight away, and then bring this knight to g5. I'm not sure what it does, but it looks pretty. C4 is a really good move, which I kind of, I considered sacking, but C4 just tries to open the diagonal. Um, I might have to take it, because there's three attackers, so defending doesn't actually help. I guess I'll take and then play just king h8. He's playing this well so far, I guess apart from losing the piece, but... He can he can basically afford to lose minor pieces if it if it like forces trades or somehow simplifies the position. I mean time is becoming a factor again. I I drink the last few sips of tea. There's a, a small little now it's pretty much empty, but uh okay, I, I should stay focused. Uh, oh, if I play this, if I play this, he plays bishop f7. Oh, this is a good move. What to play? I'm probably going to just have to accept a trade. Like, I'll play knight here, allowing him to take. And if he does take, then at least I get the bishop here, and then my Lightsford bishop can find a new home, a way more active diagonal. Mm, he's not trading. I might even want to provoke him to trade. B5 is too weakening. I don't know what to do here. Maybe bishop. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's not an easy position. And g five allows this. I think I'll play this move. I feel like there's more potential for the bishop on this diagonal rather than this diagonal. I just realized my pawn's hanging. Is it hanging for a while? I guess if he were to take... Oops. Okay, he takes the knight. If he took, then maybe there would be some discoveries. And queen is sneaky here. As being even more sneaky. Okay, got to hunker down. There goes my pawn. So the goal, the goal is basically to abandon the queen side and focus on the king side attack. But he's trying to attack me as well. Yeah. So I'm calculating g4, knight h4. Knight g5, knight f5, and then knight f3. It just doesn't work, though. What I could do is play g4, knight h4, bishop e4. I think I'll do that. And he might play knight, uh, knight d2. Bishop e4. There's some sneaky idea c5 to attack the queen. So it's very easy to miss. Oh. Yeah, that was a good move. 
So question, do I play bishop or knight to g5? I mean, if I play knight g5, the idea would be to do weird things with some check, open the file. I think bishop g5 is a bit more direct. Oh, counterattack. It's getting interesting. I'm going to take first. Taking with knight is best. Takes with pawn, then I'll, I'll start winning things. Okay. Have some momentum here. It's still not entirely... It's not winning. <laughs> um... I should take the knight. But it's getting closer. Because now it's check, so he doesn't have time to take the bishop. The problem is the queen controls the diagonal. Um, I'll take the pawn. Yeah, this is going to be difficult for, for him to defend. Okay, that was a nice uh, Botez Gambit there. Um, is this, is this made in two? It's made in two. Rook c4 is the only legal move. That yeah, pieces got coordinated really quickly there. That was another hard-fought game. Um, and it was like he was on the verge of just outplaying me and then was still able to keep some tricks alive. Another tough game. Yeah, it, I keep getting into time pressure and making a big boo-boo. That time I felt like I was doing okay, but just messed up. As another case, like you, you played... You played very well for most of the opening middle game. I mean, there's the one hiccup you lost a piece. Yeah, I, I felt opening. it as soon as I, yeah, in the mid mid game, I felt right after I made it when you had that pawn fork and I lost. Mm -hmm. It was either going to be a bishop or a knight, and I just immediately saw my error. I'm sure, yeah, it just, it's just, uh, but the time pressure just yeah yeah the time pressure it, my it can brain. be tough right um, yeah it's uh i mean time management is a whole skill within itself oh yes it took um, me forever to start playing scrabble a little bit faster mm -hmm. and not having that happen um so i had some strategy. kind of massive hype train too Ooh, at nice. some point i will i will thank everybody that's just passing subs out like candy i really really oh, appreciate so nice. that <laughs> yeah so um but yeah sorry go ahead didn't mean to interrupt i was gonna say one strategy when especially when you're up material but if you are like getting low on time you want to look for ways to trade down material and it seemed like you, yeah. were, you were trying to do that yes um, um but uh if you're able to make fair trades or even sometimes sacrifice to just get rid of as many of my pieces as possible um, that can make life easier and allow you to um, to deal with the time pressure a bit more easily. For sure. Yeah. That's definitely had that in mind to do, but uh, just taking a little too long it, it, with, with practice, I will, I will get a little faster. I, I hope um, so. For yeah. sure, but it, uh, it seems like you're 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 improving with each game. Like you're <laughs> well, um, maybe it's getting I hope more so. difficult for me as well. Yeah, it's getting more difficult with the pieces thing. I don't think That's I'm true. necessarily <laughs> learning a ton, but I um, I'm doing my best. So mm -hmm. that's um, a learning experience. Yeah. So all right, back to back to the Scrabble board, which okay. may which may not <laughs> be a refuge for me, but hopefully, <laughs> I'm hoping so. my my good luck uh, keeps up with these tiles. But uh, we'll see. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm ready to start game four of Scrabble. So we're we've definitely what is it? That's, making our way through. Yeah. Yeah. So it would be one more of each, and we'll okay. see where we're at. Sounds so. good. Okay. My birthday Meeting is tomorrow. Eric. Happy early birthday present to me, laughing face. Mm. Happy early birthday. Double B, 13. 
Um, are we good here? Yeah, thanks for subbing for seven months. Tomorrow, what is tomorrow? January. I know the month. Tomorrow's January 15th. Unless you're in a different time zone. But uh, yeah, happy birthday to whoever's birthday is today or tomorrow. Or yeah, that was, that was a beautiful board to look at. Now, okay. I have Utopia. Okay, I'm gonna hide the chat. I think I'll I'll leave uh, sound alerts on, but um, I almost have updates. Utopia. Okay, I'm gonna take notes. Utopia. Be helpful to know these like vowel words. I have auto pie. Like a pie that that's automatic. Plays carts. Okay. I'm wondering if I should just play Utopia. That's that doesn't score so well. I have outpace. Maybe outpace. Um, I'm just trying to clean up my rack. Get some mingo worthy letters. There might be other options, but do that. Oh, okay. I have, uh, there should be something here. So I have the suffix like, which I very much like. I'm wondering if like salt, salt like, salt like, also have L E S S. Ooh. Okay. So what I'm going to do. Um, oh, wait. Oh, I don't even have an L to play through, though. Wait a minute. Wait, there should be something here. Leakiest? Lakiest. La I think Lakey is good, right? I'm just going to try Lakiest. LT is not valid, so. Okay, Lakiest is good, but do I have anywhere to put it? There's really nowhere to put it. Of talk, talkiest. Wait, talky. Oh, talkiest fits here. Let's go. That's a double double. I almost got excited <laughs> to play talkiest down there. Oh, oh wow. Okay, he's. We're both getting good tiles. What is this? Almost looks like snowmen. But it's sonar man. Okay, so I'm down by 58. I have ING. Fadings? Let's go. I'm gonna try some words here. Let's go. Dove. Um, let's try fadings. Oh, it's a word. Let's go. <laughs> I know fading is valid, but I you never it's sometimes um I'm sometimes unsure if like fading is also a noun where you can pluralize. Okay, this is a man, this is a really high scoring game. I mean, we're both off to a start with, I guess, two bingos each. And these are again like pretty good letters. T. I have T. Such a wide open board. Matinee, maybe? No. Inmate. Edelman. If I'm going to bingo, I, it's probably an eight letter word. Man. I'm trying to look through my suffixes. Lenient? Lenient. But there's no no open L. Plays void. Mm. Oh, 
Oh, there's a word, uh, tea time, but not... LFG, LFG. I, I don't have it here, though. Oh, thanks for that. Yeah, thanks everyone for supporting and subbing. Try and thank people after this match. Anti... Anti... Something men? There's one blank left. I mean, I might just want to fish. Wait, oh wait, there should be something with the uh, end trainer. End train. Retin. Wait, retain plus. E N. Train. Wait, through the R. Uh, iterant. I feel like I've I've studied like I've studied some high probability words. Uh, wait, retain. N. Ret. Ret. Retin. Uh, um. I mean, our knight is a valid word. This is where my word knowledge is hurting me. Um, like it's prime position to bingo again. I'll throw the M. Something ending with ATE maybe? Something any eight. Mm. I could play T. No, I want to get rid of an N. I mean, I could fish. I just like drop down like E N. Mm. I have Mini. Man. Okay, I don't think I'm going to bingo. I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Tania, maybe? Oh, no. Tania doesn't fit because NI is not valid. Almost worked, though. Mm. Knight. Ah. I'm taking too much time. But what to do? T? No. Maybe just nay. N I E. Maybe I'll just play mini. I'm so indecisive. Or nine, maybe? Leaving eat. No, that doesn't even work. <sighs> this is rough. Oh, I could play. E um, no, it doesn't fit. Okay, I'm going to play Ain. Balance leave. Okay. I was trying to leave myself with the right combination of letters. So I've, um, again, I have ING. Tinge. Okay, so you set up R Raya or Paya. Um, I'll almost have deterring. Wait, ING. Is treating? Oh. Re. Retinged. Ah, it's so frustrating. Okay, I'm down by 19. I could play like uh, Teed. 
Keeping ING, okay. That's a close game. Wow, he hits the... That's a nice play. Hey? Oh, Hab's not valid. I feel like I should block this play. So, nay. Okay. I'm sure I, I probably missed a couple. Ah, and he hits me with re reniform. <laughs> okay, I have Varix at least. I pick up the last blank. So I'm down by 62. Una, una, you, un. Uh, I mean, to, to try and make this game close, I'm going to have to bingo. I might just try and clean up with a vial. I'm going to get rid of the U. This is still a spot, this YA. Two R's left. Oh, the Q is left, too. Audio? Ah, oh, that was a nice play to block the spot. And he scores with the J. Vita? Oh, Vita's not valid. So I could play Vile. Um, I'd like to use this spot, like Yuna. Unidial. Un. I have too many eyes and the U. Okay, so I think I'll play. I'll play Vile. I like Ed. Ed blank is a great combo. Just this. H U B I. Okay, so there's six tiles left. I can play no hub. Ah, what do I do? Um, bud. Down by eighty three. If I bingo out, I need to find a bingo. And he knows I have good ladders too. So the L, the problem is I blocked the N. Ah, I don't even see a good play here. Oh, something ending with L Y, like here. Cheerily, cheer, cheer, cheerily. Because cheery should be good. He's going to block it though. I wonder if I can get him Q-stuck. Probably not. Cheerily. Or sh... I don't even know if it's valid, but... Um, I'm ready to try it. Of 21 seconds. I'm also wondering, like, this would probably take an S. Sheer. This is a good game. A lot of bingos this game. I'm sure I've I missed some plays earlier. So have um your oh neighbor. I didn't even think of the possibility of extending this, like, because I had B U R. I think or no. Ah, he blocks me. Yeah, it's this concept of uh, prophylaxis. Um, I think I'll just play. Oh, he left one tile in the back too. Can I set myself up? No. I played that with one second left. So he's gonna probably play the Q here or yeah, probably here. Um I'm gonna lose. 
I'm probably break 400. Could play deity. That was a good game. Okay. I think I'll... He's not going to go out looking for my, my final play. That's six points. Okay, I'll reopen the chats. It's a good game. Oh, I'm so curious what I missed. Wait, why is this not working? There we go. Okay. Man, what a game. Yeah, that was Ooh. another one where I drew pretty well. Um, yeah, I think hey, we Eric. both had a strong opening. Yes, for sure. That's true. Um, I I sort of, oh, classed. That might have been better. Um, so normally I would I would try to, I, I guess I just missed probably my best opening play of classed for whatever reason. But I had an interesting choice between mm. Carl's and Carts, where normally I would want to keep ST instead of LS, but Carts actually takes an S in front that I thought maybe you uh, might not know of, of Skarts, which is kind of a strange Scrabble only word. Um, yeah, I guess I wasn't aware of that, but maybe yeah. I would try it if I had the opportunity. Exactly. Right. But then I got the first bingo down again, which mm -hmm. does seem to be um, a pretty, you know, heavy determinant of who's winning the games right well I, I hit right back yeah. talkiest um, for sure I, I was about to play talkiest through the other t and then oh, no. I, I realized oh there's <laughs> that would have been a da that would have been a da moment <laughs> after after you realize that but you hit it yeah 100 points 98 points mm -hmm. and then fadings so at that point um i'm needing to sort of buckle down and you know just Make sure I don't make any further mistakes because the game could slip away. But I guess maybe you you started having these low point tile racks that don't quite bingo, or if they do bingo, it mm -hmm. might not be normal enough words. Right. I spent a long time after you played Void looking. Yeah, for those something. letters look great. Yeah, those letters look great. But ultimately, Butter, you were I correct, and Ain looks like a perfectly solid play um, mm -hmm. to sort of wait for next turn. But it did set me up for my big scoring play. Um, of Yao, that sort of oh yeah, Yao was in my spot. Take, take command, yeah. I was going to play Yom in that spot before Ain, mm -hmm. um, but that play let me play the the W as well, which um, sort of along with the Z next turn sort of set me off to the races for eventually bingoing. Um, and then I I still had like good time. I was still looking for potential bingos with ING, but. I guess uh, I'm checking the analyzer feature. I guess I just didn't have any. Yeah, you, this time there's just nothing there, which mm -hmm. it, it's annoying when that happens. But that's you know that's one of those things that really only only focused study can make you feel comfortable dismissing those. And even then, I often get these phantom impulses, like there has to. I feel like there's something there. Even my preparation and study of the dictionary can't fully eliminate all of those situ sure. situations um so i, I so. did miss uh, a bingo a bit later uh after you played jupe there's a word i, I wouldn't have found oh that, that <laughs> oh yeah that's still gonna you're still it doesn't I'm score enough and mm -hmm. you're still in trouble there after right. that it's just not high enough scoring play yeah in fact vile actually probably gives you better winning chances for this the simple mm -hmm. reason that at that point in the game, you probably need to pick the cue and draw a really heavy bingo with that. Like, at, like for example, like liquidated or something Liquid, off yeah, of the off something. of the off of the L of vile. So it's probably the case that even if you don't see Induzial or play it, that vile ends up winning slightly more often. I just don't think you win after Induzial anyway. Uh -huh. so. There, there was a, just a funny thought that came to mind right after I played this box and bud that maybe I should have kept the b and the u to go for neighbor on the top for some some oh points. wow that would be a very clever play ultimately i think that scores a ton but, but really still at, at mm -hmm. this score yeah i'm just up by like 100 so really the only thing that you can hope for is a really big bingo that hits a triple that has a q in it that that will 
that will do the trick if you can manage to do that. And of course, I, I am aware of that, and I'm going to try to stop that at all. I was costs. expecting you to block the saddle um, spot. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering so um, when you, if if you didn't play woe, and I had this rack, um, this rack uh, e e h i r y. Yeah, like, cheer. You would have cheerily. At che the okay, very so least. I saw cheerily. Yeah, I wasn't maybe sure maybe nothing better than that. Mm -hmm. um, and and as I as I said on on the stream, the way I can lose that game is by not blocking that spot, scoring something decent somewhere else, and then maybe even a play like cheerily can overcome me with the extra twenty points that you get from the queue if I draw it right. So if the queue is right. in the bag, and I just think to myself, well, you know, I'll just outscore you no matter what you do, and you bingo with cheerily and catch me with the cue, I might I might lose that situation. So I, 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 I was to, hoping I to for be something careful. like that, but I assume you yeah, have yeah. Not so the, so basically, I've been checkmated like that mm -hmm. in Scrabble enough times <laughs> to uh, know not to do that. Learn um, from the pain haven't been checkmated in chess enough times yet <laughs> to avoid some of the things you've done to me here. Gotcha. But, mm -hmm. Yeah. So all of those lessons I've, I've learned via trial by fire over 10 plus years of playing this. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm still in the process of learning and definitely appreciating when, when I see it put in practice. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Um, I guess I, yeah, I didn't have anything better than just plopping the cue down in the end game. And then after that, it's just, uh, just playing our tiles out. Yeah. So, I was just trying to not to not to flag at the very end. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. that deity came down very fast. Yeah. Um, so that I understood. Um, so all right, okay. shall we? Shall we try what uh, maybe possibly our final? We'll see how we feel after. Yeah, but, let's do it. Um, um, so what's this one going to be? Gosh, I have to try. I have to. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm going to try to play fast. I have to go faster. Speed, yeah, because when I. When I'm missing so many pieces, um, yeah, there's there's much lower risk for you. And even if I get some tactic to win some pieces, you're not gonna be in so much trouble. Um, yeah, this time is usually the biggest culprit. So I'm bringing in study. Pop over back and, to the Um, let's do. Yeah, um, because this might be the last game. Um, I'm I'm gonna give myself a queen, but I'm taking away everything else. <laughs> um, I'm basically giving myself queen and rook. <laughs> and, I take away and... everything else, uh, oh, including man. a few pawns. Yeah, yeah. So, um, okay. If I can't do it now, then I I this is going to fuel me to get better. I, and you know, maybe maybe in a few months or a year or something, we can we can try this again, and maybe I'll I'll do better. It's it's that I I definitely I have the juices flowing to you know get on that path of improvement. So that's we'll good. See. Yeah, and you're you're playing. I, I'd say you're. Um, so I know we we both saw the Sakaro versus Mr. Beast match, and some of these, <laughs> yeah, these odds games true. are similar. But I think you're playing better than Mr. Beast. Well, um, putting up more more fights. So. Oh, that again, that's, that's the, not, not the bar I hope to clear. So <laughs> with, with time, hopefully I can raise that a little bit. So. All right. Well, um, I'm sending the challenge. Okay. So good luck. Off we go. Thanks. You too. Yep. Okay. Hey, it's Joanna. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, welcome back, Joanna. Are we supposed to? Thanks for the bits. Um, for those maybe just joining uh, a bit late. We're switching between chess and Scrabble. Uh, this is one of the best Scrabble players in the world. He's also streaming. Uh, there's a multi command. There's also a match command, which will give more information. Changing the category back to chess. Only um, two months hmm. away. Hey. Who's that? Embatone. Thanks for subbing. For seven months. Oh, very close to being a baby. Okay, so there's still kind of an art of playing these sort of positions. Um, I can't afford to lose my queen, unfortunately. But uh, what do I do? I mean, d5. b5 is actually one of the first moves that come to mind. Um, I'm just hitting the bishop. 
there's some potential trap like bishop here i play c5 going for c4 but i don't even know if i want to like sacrifice pawns for winning a minor piece maybe i do let's do it aggression whoa a squid's body oops oh, i then. spilled some bits oh, no. good luck i like the scrabble oh thanks for that that's good to hear um yeah it's been fun kind of going uh going back and forth um working different parts of my brain my my mind my brain um it's an interesting move so c4 probably doesn't make sense now because he can take and my king side just crumbles so i think i want to play g6 There's also King F8. The G6 looks playable. Actually, I forget if I... I don't know if I set up a position where I can legally castle. Um, I don't think there's a way to test. Like, I don't want to pre-move it and then I'm, I'm able to castle, so... Um, if casting is the best move, then I'll try it and see if it's okay. But I'm still threat. Oh, okay. Now c4 is not possible. A nice way of blockading. I really want to get. There is a a game where Hikaru beat Mr. Beast, where he he got the queen to c1. Like the bishop's not defended, but to get there, it's it's not easy. I think I'll play b4. Considering taking. Another interesting option, e6, gambit the pawn. I should not be gambiting when I'm down so much material. But then rook h4. It's interesting. No, let's play b4, because now the bishop has no... It has some life, but not as much life as previously. So there's still, I mean, there's still hope. If if I have a queen, all it takes is like one oversight for pieces to start falling. Um, everything's defended so far. Pretty much. It's hard to attack anything. I I could play this and go after the pawn, but then that would that would lead to trading rooks. Um I'll play Queen B6. And I think like one strategy is just to go for cheap attacks, like just attack things which aren't defended and hope he's hope he's generous. So queen d6 is one idea. That's a good move. You play f6. Like f6 and then g5. Getting some kind of like interesting pawn structure. And if he if he takes trying to go for this, I take with queen and defend and also attack. So trying to create situations where there's there's some way to go wrong. Mm. He's done this a few times where um like I'll attack something, then he'll find like a really interesting counterattack. Um which goes to show, like, he has potential. He's thinking on a deeper layer than other players at, like, a, a beginner level. I don't want to play this, because then he can trade queens, and even if I win material, um, it's not worth trading queens. Oh, that was a good move. It puts me in a, a difficult situation. I could try taking the bishop and weathering the storm. 
I could also try castling, but then no, then the he can easily move the bishop back, and I have pawns hanging. Um, but I'll have to make some concession here. I'm thinking I'm thinking that taking might offer me the best chances. Because my king will run. And then I have the square to maybe do some sneak attack. Let's do this. Yeah, one line I, I was just calculating is queen takes g7, king f8. Queen e8, king g7, queen e7, king h6. So my center pawns both dissolve, but my king has like this weird kind of homeless shelter. Okay, so that's more comforting. Because my king's my king's sheltered by the center pawns. Play this move. So I'm hitting this pawn. I guess I'm also hitting this pawn, but um, I still have no interest in taking. He has a strong move here, queen. Queen d5 would really solve like most of his problems. If queen d5, I, I don't want to trade queens. I would probably play queen. Queen f4 is interesting. Queen f4, queen a8, king f7. I lose a rook, and there's this check. And bishop c2 is ultra solid. Yeah, he has more time than me, man. He's uh, is living up to his goal of managing his time. Um. I'm gonna play rook h5. Because why not? Like, hit the queen. Uh, what I eventually want is the queen to come to this diagonal and hit the pawn. If somehow I can win the pawn, or even just attack the pawn, I'll put him in a, a slightly tricky situation. After the game, I'll, I'll try and remember to show him this move, because this is like. It's a type of move to, to be on the lookout for. Really initiate trades. Make some more tea. Yeah, I'm using noise suppression, so the the kettle is going to be loud, but people shouldn't hear too much of it. Okay, I'm not trading queens. Uh, I guess it's a question, do I play this or this? I definitely play this, keeping the pawn defended. If I play this, then he takes and wins the rook. Oh, I said that the kettle, like the electric kettle. I'll show it in a moment. <laughs> it's boiling right now. Um... But people shouldn't be able to hear it. Oh, did it get loud? Oh, maybe... Sorry about that. I may have changed something. Okay, so he has this move, queen. Yeah, I have to play this. And I'm I'm attacking this pawn, and the pawn is pinned. And the queen's out of play. And my king is, like, surprisingly safe. I actually don't know what white should be doing here. Oh, another counterattack. So I want to play rook h8, hit the queen, save the rook, keep the attack against the pawn. Let's do it.
Now, he has a good move here, which he might find because he, he's been on this spree of counterattacking. The move is e5. e5 would be like really, really nice for white. But here, okay, now I have hope. I just have to watch out for this pawn, but I'm going to win the rook now. And if things go right, maybe I'll win the knight and the pawn. Um, so this is a situation like he just has to accept the rook is lost and then try and... Uh, probably try and get his king safe. Like white should really castle as quickly as possible. Maybe bring the knight to d2, defend the knight, and then castle. And knight f3 also has a plan of attacking me too. And I'm realizing, like, if he doesn't play knight f3, let's say he takes the pawn. I might consider going after the F pawn. But no, I probably take the rook first. Okay. So here's my kettle. I think someone thought it was I said cuddle. But no, this is my electric kettle. Replenish the tea. I was drinking green tea earlier. So I'll switch it up. Have some uh some fresh pack. There's a, a fan sent me this from uh, South Africa. To open another. Let's open this. Okay, let's take the rook. I mean, it's still very iffy because my my pawns are falling. Actually, he can take this pawn and defend the knight. Yeah, good move. Okay, <laughs> what to do? I can take this pawn. Yeah, he actually, he probably played the best sequence there. Like, he won my pawns and held on to the knight, just lost a rook. This pawn wasn't too meaningful. And he's up. So white's still up three minor pieces and three pawns. But all it takes is one oversight. Play this move. I'm going to play this move first because when I move my king, it's maybe less obvious that I'm unleashing the rook. If I were to play king here first, it would be more obvious that when I move the rook here, I'm attacking the pawn. Oh. So he wants to trade queens. So I'm going to play king g7. Really just avoiding the queen trade. I just want to control the h7 square. I'm not doing too much else. Oh no, my pawn! My pawn's not defended. Ah. Oh no. Oh no. If he takes this pawn, he can win this pawn too. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, for those maybe who didn't realize, I was certainly made in one. This move defends against mate. Um, <laughs> the question is, do I take with the rook or the queen? If I take with the rook, I'm not really threatening anything. I'm not winning. I'm not winning yet. I mean, it's um, it's close. Let's take with check. Uh, the bishop, we're still here. It's just mate, but the king can run. I'm probably gonna... So after king d1, I have queen f1. King runs, rook f2. I think I'm better off taking this pawn. Because what happens when I take this pawn, I'm... It looks like the obvious threats are the, the bishop and the rook. But the biggest threat is made in one. So, oh, well, that was a good move. Wow, that defended everything. I mean, I could take, 
Wow, so I could take the bishop. And taking the bishop would win the bishop, the knight, and then the rook. And then the pawn in the end, too. I'm still down a knight. But let's do it. Oh, I don't win the pawn in the end. Oh, it depends where he moves the king. Okay, so I traded off my rook. Oh, this is getting interesting. I like my chances, though. Better than before. Yeah, king d2 is good. And king here, here, I would take with check. The question is, do I play queen g2 first? Probably not. Yeah, let's take here first. Keeping an eye on the knight. So it'll be interesting, like, if he takes. I could take the knight, but then I lose this pawn. I probably have to take the knight. Yeah, because if I take the pawn, then... I mean, both options are not so good. But, uh, yeah, let's take the knight. At the very least, though, he, he's going to have perpetual if he wants it. Um, yeah, my king wants to always defend the pawn. And honestly, this endgame is not easy to win. It, it should be winning for white. Uh, but sometimes the problem white will run into is uh, just endless, seemingly endless checks. He, uh, he wants to queen the pawn, but then I'll start checking. And time might come to bite as well. Mm. Yeah, he knows he knows the right plan. I'm half tempted to play this move and hope he doesn't doesn't see the queen queen far away, but that was just a bad move. Um Yeah, let's start checking. The hope I mean one hope is king e three I check. And then I can win the pawn. Yeah, we're going deep into the end game. Oh, there's another move though, too. So if I play this move, and he plays this move, I win the queen, I'm winning. But then he, he could play this move, and I play this move. And then if he moves here, here, I'm also winning the queen. So there there's a few landmines for white. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this. So the for um so far this is uh the one landmine. The king has to walk it. Ooh. Okay, that's an, that's another learning learning opportunity. It's endgame skewer. Uh, he was very, very close there. Okay, now I should I should blockade. It still takes I mean yeah, the king's gonna come back and everything should be okay. Yeah, it's not easy to win those sort of positions. You have to be very, very alert. Like, um, that's a good move. Okay, but let's um, let's just remove the king, walk my king in. There will be a lot of lessons to take away from this game. Oh, ask for typo saw it coming. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes it's easier to see when you're watching a game 
not in the heat. Like I'm sure he just wanted to like walk the king towards the pawn, um, not realizing the big picture. But he's he's doing a lot of things correct. Like he I think he has potential to be a good player. Just kind of fixing these these blunder moments. And also, of course, like um if he were to play longer games, like the quality of play would be higher too. Okay, I'm gonna make another queen. Because I I think it's the most efficient way to win. I was waiting for that. Okay. No mercy. Man. That was a good fight. That, that was actually like a close, very close battle. Uh... <laughs> I know it can be discouraging, but uh, let me unmute myself. Yeah, well done. Another tough game. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Again, you, you did a lot of things well. And um, I mean, there, I guess there are a few moments to address. If you want to hop into the study. Sure, yeah. I can uh, just point out some, uh, some moments. Uh... Yeah, it's my cries of agonies. Yeah, yep, sad. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did a little better than Mr. Beast. I guess I don't know. You, so the thing with your play, like you, you, you <laughs> have a good understanding of um, a lot of like key concepts that don't come easily to like newer players, of just kind of basic. Um, just basic development, central control. Um, like you, you were able to like get your pieces into play, um, but of course, like in these moments where I'm, I'm trying to set up tricks or like these devious traps. And yeah, I, as I said, I'm just board. sort of a, a blank slate to have all of the possible tricks and traps happen to me. And <laughs> but again, like just you have to have to en endure that pain. Yeah, for a little while. It comes down to sometimes like one or two moments of not making the right move and then letting letting the vantage slip. I mean, you again, you played the, the beginning of the game very, very finely. Um, yeah, you did end up losing a bishop here. But actually, this move was nice because um, you counterattacked the pawn. Yeah, I was going for that, that and spot. In this moment, you can, you can take this pawn with check with your queen. And it creates Whoa. a bit more yes. damage. Like my, what did, my did I take it with the did I take it with the bishop? You took the the G pawn. Oh, okay. Which, so it's yeah, like you it's, still want a pawn, but then you it's leave my, hanging. My but I safer. yeah, right, right. I sh maybe should. Yeah, I see. That's a nice. Yeah, it's nice. Much better can, pawn to take. Yeah, the one with uh, initiative. It just delays your goals. Exactly. But then, okay, you hunkered down. Um, I made some attacks. You defended. Oh, there is a moment here, though. Um, I, I would have been impressed if you played uh, played this move, but instead of bishop c2, which you played, you had queen d5, which is a really nice move to not only offer a queen trade, mm. which whenever you trade queens, it benefits me. Easier. So, yeah. Yeah. But you're also threatening to check me on the back rank and win my rook. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yep. So I would have Beautiful. been in pain if you played this move. Yeah. Um, I probably was going to play this move, keeping my rook defended. So if you check me, I play here and it's it's okay. Ah, uh, that's nice. Um, but this would allow you to, again, win this pawn. And then my king is a, a bit unsafe. Right, right. Oh, that's very nice. Yep. So, um, yeah, so sometimes active play like queen d5 is a bit better than passive defense like bishop c2. Yeah, I I I feel like uh maybe 
just thematically, I probably should have been going for more trades. I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure that's the, that's one takeaway if ever I, <laughs> right. but again, I sort of don't want to get into the habit of thinking, you know, learning tricks that are helpful when playing with 20 point <laughs> material advantage. Uh, I would love to. So it's common start. whenever you're, you have extra material, even in like a normal game without odds, if you're, if you're up a single pawn, it's still a, a decent strategy to try and trade down because then it's easier for that pawn to be um, be enough in the end game to eventually win. So trading when you're up material is just a common kind of uh, principle. Right. Um, but then, yeah, I got to this position where you, you don't have a good way to defend the pawn. And you actually yeah. played nicely here. You um, you gave away the, your rook, but you you got my pawns and you defended yes. your knight and I was stuck. I... I saw that actually. <laughs> I that said that. Nice. My my chat can vouch for me mm-hmm. on that. So one one decent idea after I had I mean I made the problem worse for myself by So well then I, I laid the knights, trap. yeah. <laughs> the, I see I see develop the knights. My my chat is exhorting me. I had my two mm-hmm. knights just on their starting squares, you know. That's not, true. Not ideal. And what's most relevant here, like when I played rook f8, you should always, or you should already be sensing the danger that my rook and queen are aligned against your weakest point. I, I, yes, I did. I mm-hmm. sensed that too. I, I was immediately mm-hmm. attuned to it. It's hard to know how to deal with it. Right. Yeah. You have to basically play a, a blocking move. Like knight f3 would block my rook. So then the pawn would be defended. Ah, uh, okay. And then you can castle. Um, gotcha. Knight h3 would also defend the pawn. So there are a few options. I mean, what you did, you didn't defend the pawn, but you gave your king an escape route. So it made the game very, very interesting. <laughs> yeah, exciting, at least. Yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, then I was able to win material. Yeah, just, just hoovering it all up. Mm-hmm. And I just didn't really. It, and seemed then, ine- yeah. it seemed inevitable at, at this point. And then I just missed the queen capture. Sadly. So this was this is just a final mistake of, of moving your king aligned with your queen. Yeah. So it's just a landmine. Um, you're still playing for a win here, like, even though like, you lost some Sure, yeah. No, totally. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I was fully aware that th- theoretically I, mm-hmm. I should be in much stronger shape than you. But of course, just total inexperience and actually executing it takes a lot of experience to like actually convert these positions and sometimes it's the hardest thing to do in chess is to win a winning position but king here would be a better strategy avoiding the skewer sure it makes total sense trying to support the pawn yeah it's beautiful really i mean it's it's just so it's so elegant um just what just makes me want to, you know, start start improving. Oh more. sure, yeah, and so many uh, uh, so many lessons to take away, especially from this game. I think was the uh, the most rich game with like so many different types of ideas. So right. um, yeah, it's definitely want to have a growth mindset after after a game like this. That's a that's as positive of of, of a phrasing as I as mm-hmm. I can think. And I and as I said, I'm very familiar with that style of thought, and I I. You know, it's easy to get into that. Um, if only you get angry enough at yourself, you'll improve faster. But it's, mm-hmm. uh, I've, you know, it's, it's, that's not the healthiest way. If you can just harness the, uh, just enough of the bad feeling that you have when you make a blunder like this, but not actually internalize it and make it, make you feel bad. <laughs> right. Um, then that's, that's just enough to help you spur you on to learn more and get better. So hopefully I'll, be able to actually practice what I'm saying there. <laughs> and I think I think you're doing a service for people watching in chat where they, they, they can learn from your mistakes and not have to deal with uh, the, the same sort of pain. So yes. um, people people in chat should be grateful that there, there's- I am, a, mar- I am a martyr for the cause of uh, making blunders for you all. So yeah. yeah. All right. Well, okay. should we finish Do off with uh, Scrabble? Yeah. That, okay. that technically, if we're if we are keeping track of this sort of thing, you have, you have just clinched victory in our in our match here by virtue of your fifth win in chess and one win. I in guess. Scrabble, I guess that's so. true. Yeah. We'll, yeah. So we'll congratulations one, uh, on that as well. But I yeah, let's that. let's definitely continue on. Okay. Play our last game. Sounds good. All uh, right. Send a rematch and okay. good luck. Yep. Well, me- 
Okay. Okay, a final Scrabble game. I'm gonna try and, and get one more. Ooh, okay, I am hiding the chat and changing the category. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah, there's no like white and black and Scrabble. It's just moving first and second. I think I'll play Faint. It's only, really the only five that I see. Get the F on the, the double letter. Okay, in the Scrabble category, thank you Tromo TV with a sub. I do appreciate that. A lot of games I'm getting ING. Unfortunately, I is my only vowel. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to probably have to do like some kind of consonant dump next turn or play play like bling. Bling, bling. I wonder, maybe through the A, like, ball, balding? It's like malding, but without, oh, he plays opaque. Wow. I play, I could play bind. Bind is actually high scoring. It sets up an S, like cheese. Um, let's play bind. Yeah, all the S's are left, so this is a, like, one S alone scores 24 points, and then there's a possibility of paralleling, because ABA or ABO is a word. Um, so I got the X, threatening Gox for 41. So I'm only down by 12, which isn't bad. And I guess it's uh, the benefit of moving first. Um, yeah, trying to come back after his bingo. Do I have um, GLO, like a lot? I'm, I'm assuming he's going to block this. I mean, it's a very high scoring spot. A lot of potential overlapping plays. Oh, almost have Tagi. Tago. Tagi's estranged brother. Tago locks. Oh, he doesn't block it. Okay. So the question is do I play Gox? Uh, leaving me with Glot. Wait, Glot is a word, right? Like, um. Oh, Glot is not a word. Okay. So I'll just play Gox. Okay. Okay. Close game. It's also a closed position. I mean, so the, the bingo lanes, the areas where all the tiles can be thrown down are probably like through these letters, F, A, or I. Um, I have decent letters, like glower. Wait, I can make notes glower. I'm trying to think of something through the A. Oh, I have gloater. Gloater, would it be a double double actually? 32. And both blinks are left, so I might want to maximize the number of tiles I drop down to try and, yeah, maximize my chances of getting a blank a flower or flower, one who flows, would set up flowery. I have um, I E R. It's nothing so great there. Yeah, there's really not so many places. Like this is, this is a part of the void we're probably going to focus on. But one 
I guess, parallel between chess and Scrabble is board vision. Very important to see the whole board. Um, cause if you have tunnel vision, you focus too much on one on side, you can miss something else. It's kind of what happened in that previous chess game. Okay, so he blocks Gloder, but he sets up something like Glo. And TER is a very nice leave. I think I'll play that. Tinder. Is Tinder valid? Or Tinder -er. one who tinders. Oh, he had the double V. Yeah, Vav is a it's a Hebrew letter. Also valid in Scrabble. Oh, board is really closed now. I can't even yeah, I've um, almost certainly don't have a bingo here. I'm seeing like Ind re redinged. What to do here? I'm ahead. Wait, no, I'm behind by twelve. I'm up on time. Yeah, it's gonna get positional. I wonder if I should play. I don't want to open the board up, but I want to score. I. D, E, the iron, iron, oh, B O R is not valid. So bod and I want to get of the get rid of the duplicate R. So Ray, Ray would set up a T. Grind. I just don't want to uh, create so much opening. I think I'll play this because I have the T. There's four T's left. Don't know if there's any other letter that fits there. I mean, the other option really is to play bot. And like Ted. Okay, I'm gonna play this. Oh. Wait, there's something here, I think. Radiant? No. Wait. What do I have here? A rointed. Wait, okay, so uh, if there's an open E, I play a rointed. Um. In data, wait, TOR is probably the. Oh, okay, so at the very least, I do have a rointed. Wow, Stormen. A rointed would make the board very volatile. 68 points. That's pretty nice. Um. The question is, do I have um, a triple-triple? Doranist, Rodinist, or Orden, Ordenist? Uh, Ordenist, like one who's ordinary. Ra oh, I have rationed too. Man. Tornado. It's bugging me because I th I thought there was a seven letter word here, but maybe not. Train. So the question is, do I play, r oh, rationed? Rationed or a rointed? I'm not sure. Both just are super, I probably play rationed. A here, there's greater chances for a, a triple smash. Not the draw I was looking for. 
I'm, I feel like I'm about to get smashed. Like, if he has... Especially if he has a blank, like, there's triple-triple. There's two triple-triple possibilities. Haitian? Someone from Haiti? I don't think that's, um... That's probably a proper noun. I'm still up on time. Oh, played crows. Okay. I should try Haitians. No, okay. Uh, shh. Oh, I could play it down this way because shh is a word. Like just ha. I might just play ha. There's also this aha. That scores 38, but it leaves the S open. I get the H on like Hayden. I also, no. I think I'll just play Ha. Okay. So I, I have all one point tiles. I have anti, anti land. Antinol. Latina. I have this spot again. Um, Anna. Annalint. I have um, I A. NT Laniant Shaliant I I have this word for twenty three. It's a good leave. I'm not seeing a bingo either. Okay. <laughs> Behave yourself, chat. I'm not looking at chat, but... Okay, these are good letters now. I have a blank, and... Do I have a bingo? Shh. Actually, shh is... Um, it's valid with two H's, I'm pretty sure. I have Hannity. Uh, um... So I'm down by 48, but good bingoing chances, but the board's really close. Mm. I probably want to get rid of like the H and the Y. I gotta move too. And a lie. Analyt analytical. Oh my gosh. That'd be so wait, can I fish for analytical? No. Okay. I just got to move quick. Maybe hey? Or maybe ya, yeah, because that doesn't take an S. T-I-N is a good leave. Okay. I'm down on time. Only down by 21. Okay, so I'm just going to write down words that come to mind. Ninjas... Uh, oh, to jeans. To jeans to jeans is valid. It's one of these um, sateen plus J. But there's nowhere to put it. And he's probably not going to give me an opening. Ja. J. Okay, if it's my move... Oh. Yeah, I want to get rid of the J somehow. <laughs> I get rid of the J. J. Oh, Aji. Aji. Are there any H's left? There's no H's because Haji is a, a hook. I also play Aji like this. 
Um, but this might be better because I set up a bingo lane. There's more vowels and consonants. And there's those no, no O's left either. Let's play Aji. Okay. So I'm now by 15. Um, I mean, he might have the last blank. If he has the last blank, I might be setting him up. Uh, Slatin? Is Slatin good? Yes. Latin. Wait, if it's an E, Kentles. Ah, I set him up. And there's no... Ah, that was a very nifty play, too. Oh, he didn't even have a blank. And I have... <laughs> do I have any lanes? Wow. The Aji. This Aji was kind of risky. I don't see any... Um, it's hard to make any lane. No, Yaz is not valid. I knew that. Uh, maybe I'll just play Tint and pray for the best. I have less than 10 seconds left. Yeah, the only lane really is a... I guess a, this... Something slush. I might be setting him up too for another bingo. Uh, wow. Uh, ah. Ah. Oh, the finish. Oh, uh, nice finish. And yeah, that was an interesting game. Um, that was a that was probably the one that was most hanging in the balance of all of all the five that we've that we've played. Um, yeah, yeah, I was um, I was trying to set myself up when I played Aji. Yeah, I, I even I even predicted that at some point, as soon uh -huh. as you get an I, a play is coming down there to create more more space on that row. That's the, right. easily the best way for you to get another bingo lane on the board. But the, the, from my perspective, the play that I wanted to most look at was the play of anal because mm. that play to me, that spot is so scary. The, the lane off of crows is just sort of oh. hanging there, just waiting for you to use it. If you feel like um, you're going to need a bingo to get back in the game, right. if at all possible, leaving that spot open and forcing me to deal with it some other way would potentially have been better. The problem is that play scored incredibly well and left you with really good letters. As I see now, like that, that play is just screaming out for you to play that there, but ultimately oh. it's possible that playing something like Nala underneath Reloom instead and leaving that lane completely open for yourself may may be positionally worth it, but I don't know. Seeing it now, it sure does look like you made the right play. So um, yeah, I, I felt like the the tiles were good, and I wanted to hold on to as many like good tiles as possible. And, right, but but um, you see what I'm saying, which is that those good tiles, once you make that play, it blocks the the, board. the, the key spot that you are it's almost always going to use to play a bingo if you draw it is getting blocked when you play there. So it's that was a tricky move. Mm -hmm. I, I I now that I see it, it, it actually looks closer to correct, just because it's so well scoring for three one point tiles and keeps really nice letters behind. So um, I, I thought maybe that was, if, if there was an inflection point, that might've been where you went awry, but sure. I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure about that now. It looks like a good play. So I was also curious when I played rationed, if I missed. Oh yeah. I, I first wanted to somewhere ask, else. Yeah. It, do I have um, a seven letter word in that rack? Uh, so ADI diatron, North. yeah, diatron, di okay. diatron yeah. is is available there. So I've, I've you, done so, aerolith 
and Diatron yes. is in like the top hundred that I've, yep. I've looked at before. That's one of those that, again, if you're uh, just an everyday English speaker, you mm-hmm. will not know that word most likely. But if you're a Scrabble player that started studying, yeah. you will you will know it pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, nothing through the S of Stormen, which after you played just R E. I was terrified of <laughs> playing store men, but basically uh-huh. you just have to hope that the S in that position, like not terminal, but in seventh position, instead of the last letter will make it a little more difficult for you to play all the way through it. And I, you know, you have two eight letter words, but neither of them play through that S of store men. So you could easily have had a triple, triple there. I, I um, did try ordinance like i just yeah sure that sounds like yeah. almost a word but yeah um, um that's why not yeah in void you absolutely should give a couple attempts of words like that mm-hmm. it's the upside is pretty immense if one of them happens to be good so and i actually didn't realize that glow takes an a hook to make a glow yeah and that would have been so, a place to play diatron but, yeah a uh, few more points there but mm-hmm. um you know, there, there, there is some merit to playing something like ration just to keep a lot of pressure on me. Mm-hmm. Um, if you feel like after your bingo, you were down 59 going into that play. So if you feel like the odds of me hitting something hard and going up by 30 or 40 again on my next turn are pretty good, you may actually want to make a lot of volatility there by playing some other triple lane area and just hope to... Um, maybe outdraw me from that point on. Right. And I, I have no read on your rack because you just- It's totally it, neutral. So, yeah. yeah. It's it's as random as any analysis will think it could be. It's totally seven random tiles. So mm-hmm. at that point, that's definitely your best chance to, you also pick seven random tiles. And if you pick a blank and I pick garbage, you can take control of the game from there by making a more open play. So mm-hmm. um, yeah, but yeah. Uh, yeah, let me just see if I missed anything else. If we just go I'm through this. The yeah, um, that was a tricky. So obviously, I again, I drew a bingo early with opaqued. So, um, oh, yeah, I don't know why I didn't think about just playing. I should have just considered playing to the triple. I played when I played the chi extension. I don't know why. I was thinking about saving a play to the triple afterwards, but I think... I should have done it in reverse. So that was maybe a slight mistake. Oh yeah. I was um, expecting you to block uh, this triple spot, but yeah, I, I think I probably should have, although I wouldn't say that's a huge mistake if it is mm-hmm. one. Yeah. Then storm and crows. I had to play it scored 57, even though it left E E U, but mm-hmm. I kind of got lucky that you just, you didn't have anything really heavy hitting through the S of storm and on your draw. And from that point I was able to sort of, just stay one one step ahead. Um, yeah, and I I don't think I missed any bingo. Like I I was very I had really good tiles with like the blink and the. I see that, yeah, letters, but, but niftier. Board. But you didn't you didn't have an e, which was the key tile you would have needed to play underneath the r of niftier. If you would have had an e, I'm sure there would have been something. Just replace one of those t's for an e, and I'm sure you have something. There. Is there are there seven leather words in this rack? Um, Sure, if, like ta- talents. Oh, talents. Okay. Um, uh, Latins is another one, but talents okay. would be the the one that you would probably know. Oh, also saltant with an A, I think. Oh, okay. So some some obscure words, but talents would be the one that I think you would find with time. Right. Um. So yeah, then I just have to not empty the bag, and I'm I'm gonna win. Oh, you really you really had no playable bingo there with that two tile in the bag position, so. Um, yeah, I also had no time, so I've, yeah. I would have but thought. But you were totally correct. Like... <laughs> you were absolutely correct to just not play any more than two tiles. Give yourself a chance to potentially draw maybe the other blank, something that gives you some threat. Mm-hmm. But of course, I I drew the other one, so I was able. Yeah, to... a strong uh, strong finish. Wow, there's actually an un. If you go to your, if you go to analyzer to the play mm-hmm. after my out bingo and look at what you had. Do you, do you see that turn? After your out bingo. So after I play tri scale. Oh, wow. Look at what you had, right? So imagine. Aero, what is this or, word? Oriold. Oriold. Yeah. Uh, um, the game could go one move longer. Yeah. So that would have been an unbelievable, right? Like if I don't bingo, I'm 
I'm going to, I don't have that much time either. I'm probably not going to see that. So in in some situations, I know that's going to be hard for anybody to see, Mm -hmm. but if by chance you see that, it means you have a bingo on the top and bottom of the board that I can't block. So you could possibly win that game in that situation. So that would have been I wasn't even thinking about Amazing. that spot as like a bingo. <laughs> I lane. certainly was. I certainly wasn't yeah. either. So, yeah. So, okay. Well, um, that's five and five. Yeah, uh, that was um, that was really fun. I really I I enjoyed the the Scrabble and the chess. Um, me too. I mean, it's hard sort of hard, hard to say that I enjoyed the chess, but I really did. I actually mm-hmm. really did. It's just fun to you know um, tackle a different style of problem solving and almost it's almost more fun just to be a total novice at at a game and just um i guess once you're once you're really far along in your game of choice you can sort of not want to go back down to the you know the first steps of the ladder in a different game just because your ego is better off um with the the game that you're good at right you could just stick to that but i kind of i'm kind of relishing the idea of being a total novice and climbing the ladder again in a different game even if i obviously i'm never gonna be the top ranked chess player in north america as i am in scrabble but that doesn't matter you Mm -hmm. can just yeah it's it's fun. fun like uh yeah especially when you when you get to such a high point in scrabble it's nice to like start the journey again and something else as a beginner and definitely have a appreciation for the learning process. Yeah, for sure. And I'm, I'm just, my follow, I mean, my follower alerts are just constantly popping oh, off awesome. and subs and stuff. So de- definitely a huge, huge shout out to um, just your, your community crossing over, giving me some follows and support. It's uh, really greatly appreciated. I will try to pay it forward with some more, some more chess every now and then. Like I said, um, I'm not sure if I, if I said this while I might've said this while I was muted on zoom, but I sort of maybe can aspire to be like the inverse Eric Mm. where like, as often as you play chess, I play Scrabble. And as often as you play Scrabble, I play chess, Uh, Gotcha. (laughs) something like that. Um, Maybe that's something to aspire to. So yeah, it's something like I've, 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 I play in stream Scrabble just because I enjoy it. So um, yeah, it, uh, that's what I'm. That's what I think. I think I'm going to get to that point where nice. I feel the same way about chess. So it's, that's awesome. I feel it happening. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll have to tune in when you when you are. Uh, of course, I, I I love tuning in when you stream Scrabble, but I have to catch some chess streams as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do to, um, cause I know there's, you know, there was, there's an idea, maybe the next thing I could do is potentially there's, I know there's other streamers like CL Smith. It would be cool to do a collaboration with him. He also does a mix of, um, you know, Scrabble and chess. So there's, mm-hmm. there's definitely crossover, you know, we, we think, we think the same way about our games, even if the games are fundamentally different in, in a lot of ways. So I, I think there's, I, as I said, it sort of took me by surprise as I was sort of like an undercover mole watching <laughs> chess all year to try to like unlock the, um, all the secrets, <laughs> the secrets of how chess is being just is popping off like crazy on Twitch and YouTube. And mm-hmm. I'm just watching it, trying to figure that out. And eventually it started to dawn on me, like, this is pretty awesome. Like this game is very cool to watch and it would be so cool to get better at it. And it's my hope also that there can be that sort of opposite effect with Scrabble, with other communities like chess and poker and other games of skill where you sort of get what we're doing, even if some of it is a little bit out of reach with the words or with the whatever. Every game has its intricacies that aren't really that accessible to a newer player. But Mm -hmm. um, if you have the right mindset, maybe there is some crossover that we can all enjoy each other's games <laughs> oh definitely yeah and it's great like uh in in chess and in scrabble like that you can go on twitch and uh um and, and and see people streaming and kind of offering offering the educational value that didn't exist even like a decade ago so yeah it's it's a whole new world so it's really so, nice yeah yeah well happy to be in touch and uh yeah this, yeah, is this really, was a lot of really fun Th- for... thank you so much again yeah it's sure. been a total pleasure um and um it's it's been awesome and if ever we do this again i promise i will be a tougher i will be a tougher opponent in chess 
yeah, you definitely have a lot of potential if you, uh, if you stay <laughs> at it. So. Thank you. Appreciate that. And obviously I say it all the time that all, all you need is to learn a little bit more of the dictionary and you're going to be a monster in Scrabble. There's no doubt about that. I say it all the time when I'm in your stream and you play a couple of games of Scrabble and you find some ridiculous word that no, no newbie should find or no like amateur player that's not studying all the time should find. So it's um, that, that I, I firmly believe. So I do have a goal to play like an over the board Scrabble tournament when, uh, when things go back to normal. So perhaps I'll, I'll study a bit more before, uh, before that happens. Yeah. I mean, um, it's, if you are able to incorporate it into your routine, even just like 10 minutes a day, you'll Mm -hmm. see a ton of improvement in that in that way it's it's sort of it's weird it's not really like studying chess Mm -hmm. openings or anything like that it's almost like collecting like if if ever you collected anything like sports cards or magic cards or anything like that like Mm -hmm. i've always felt adding words to your repertoire to sort of like fulfill that impulse so like that's interesting just looking at a few more words a day feels like you're just getting a new batch of like um whatever it is that you like to collect that Mm -hmm. day so that's always how I've enjoyed thinking about it. But I admit the, the dictionary is weird. I know a lot of people, I'm sure in your channel are looking at the words on the board and saying, what what the heck is all this? <laughs> and they're, that, they're right. Like that's not wrong to say that. But um, ultimately, if, if you look at these weird words and your response is like, ooh, that's cool. I didn't know that word as opposed to WTF, what is that word? <laughs> maybe maybe you're cut out to um, start playing a little more Scrabble. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of how I got into it when I was younger is um, like seeing seeing the potential for all these overlapping plays and um, had the book Word Freak and have like all these cool diagrams. So um yeah, yeah you're you're one of us, Eric, for sure. Mm-hmm. There's no doubt in my mind. So we'll when we can play safely again, it, it'll be a real it'll be a, a thrill mm-hmm. if we can uh, you know cross paths in a tournament someday. So well, sounds good. Well, we'll be in touch. All right, that sounds great. Um, so all right, we'll just hop off our Zoom. I don't know if you're still gonna stream. I'll probably just talk to my chat a little because I've been same here. Them yeah. A lot, so, okay. <laughs> Have to thank some people. So yeah, I'll let you go. Sure. Okay. Same. Right. Yeah. Same to you. Thanks, Eric. I really appreciate it. It was fun. Okay. Thanks, Will. All Take right. care. Yep. You too. Bye.